Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Creation Upgrade. When a daughter is born, an experience bar will appear on her head. Chapter 81. The ice bead was very small, only the size of a child's fist. It was crystal clear and looked like an ordinary bead, nothing special. However, the moment the ice bead appeared, the powerful gods of the ancient barbarian country were horrified. They felt a very terrifying power from the bead. Chi Qian yelled even more frantically, Lu Dao, you dare. Unfortunately, before he could finish his words, the ice bead had already floated in front of Lu Dao. Lu Dao looked at the dense army of the ancient barbarian country in front of him expressionlessly. Kill, as Lu Dao gently uttered the word, kill. Ha, huh, the ice bead trembled slightly, and a visible freezing force was emitted from the ice bead, and it instantly spread towards the direction of the ancient barbarian country at an incredible speed. Buzz, a icy force emerged, and the temperature between the world dropped instantly. Everyone couldn't help but shivered. Lu Dao was the dividing line. In front of him, the countless soldiers of the ancient barbarian kingdom who were originally rushing towards the Dakion kingdom with excitement, bloodthirstiness and enthusiasm. All stopped where they were. They did not stop on their own initiative, but were frozen. Yes, they were frozen. All people, whether they were dead soldiers, demon elephants, or those low-level soldiers. At this moment, they were all frozen instantly by the freezing power emitted by the ice beads, without a trace of struggle. That man, that beast, that knife, that sword. Everything in front was frozen, as if time had stopped. Even the expressions of the soldiers were still the same as before, without any change. The frozen soldiers and demon elephants were lifelike, without any bloody scenes or broken limbs. But such a scene made other people's scalps numb and their bodies shiver. Especially on the side of the ancient barbarian kingdom, those who were still alive, the innate, grandmasters, and the powerful people of the god platform, all looked at the scene in front of them with dull eyes. There was a blank in their minds. The Dakion monks were not much better. They stopped everything they were doing and looked at the endless ice in shock. It felt so dreamy. At this moment, the entire battlefield suddenly became quiet. It was so quiet that it was scary. Silent and silent. Save people. The next moment, all the people in the ancient barbarian kingdom went crazy. They no longer cared about fighting with the Dakion strongmen. They all took action to rescue the hundreds of thousands of troops. Among them, a general of the ancient barbarian kingdom, General Du, said in a hurry, Lu Dao, stop it, we can withdraw our troops. Quick, let them go. We will withdraw our troops and never break our promise. Lu Dao, stop it, that's hundreds of thousands of lives. Do you want to be a butcher? Chi Qian was also terrified. If these hundreds of thousands of soldiers died, the ancient barbarian kingdom would never win, and it is even very likely to be counterattacked by the Dakion kingdom. Lu Dao, don't believe them. General Wei of the Dakion garrison army and Kong Hao, the lord of Yongkong prefecture, hurried to protect Lu Dao, and both of them were happy. General Wei was an old man who looked nearly 60 years old, with thick hair and beard. He said anxiously, Lu Dao, this is about the life and death of Dakion, you must not be soft-hearted. He was afraid that Lu Dao was too young and unstable, so he would let go of the hundreds of thousands of soldiers of the ancient barbarian kingdom. They are already dead. Lu Dao's face was calm and shook his head. General Wei and Kong Hao heard the words and instantly looked at the ice in front of them with a radius of dozens of miles. Under the induction of their spiritual sense, the frozen soldiers and demon elephants had all died at that moment. The hundreds of thousands of people had all lost their life characteristics, and even some of the innate strongmen among them could not escape the fate of death, and their spiritual senses were directly frozen. Gulu, everyone on the Dakion kingdom side, including the strongmen of the divine platform, couldn't help swallowing at this moment. Looking at Lu Dao again, there was a trace of awe in his eyes. Ah, I, Gumen, hate you so much. You little brat from Dakion, you are so cruel. Even if I die, I will kill you. Hundreds of thousands of lives, you actually, you actually had the heart to do it. You, butcher, you will not die well. Butcher, executioner, you are a devil. All the remaining strong men in Gumen country were crazy, looking at Lu Dao with murderous intent. Those masters and masters of the divine platform rushed towards Lu Dao like crazy, wanting to kill Lu Dao, the murderer, at all costs. No, this is impossible. Save people, 
Save people. There must be hope. There must be hope. Some innate strong men used the power of fire crazily, trying to melt the ice and save people. They looked crazy and unwilling to accept this reality. There were their family disciples and sect disciples in there. But it was obviously useless. The people in the ice cube had fallen into reincarnation in an instant. At this moment, Lu Dao's mind moved again. Another powerful freezing force emerged from the ice cube, instantly covering those innate strongmen. The next moment, these innate realms were also frozen. Bang! But, the freezing power of the ice bead was obviously insufficient, only a few were frozen to death, and the others all broke free. But they were also scared, and flew into the air, never daring to approach the ice cube with a radius of dozens of miles. They could only stare at Lu Dao viciously, wishing to torture him to death. All dead, all dead, why is this happening? No, it shouldn't be like this. We gave up everything. What for? You thief god, you are so cruel. My Wying Palace is gone. I am ashamed of the founder of Wying Palace. Ha ha ha, the family is gone, and I am the only one left. Hee <laughs> hee, everything is gone, everything is gone. Far away, the group of rebels who were originally far behind the ancient barbarian army were also frozen by the ice beads. Those low-level warriors, some of the innates, died. Only some powerful innates, grandmasters, and gods survived. But at this moment, this group of people all looked dazed and confused, and suffered a great blow. Some people were even crazy and unwilling to accept what was happening in front of them. They chose to betray Dachyon for their family and sect. Seeing success in sight, it seemed that God played a joke on them. An ice bead destroyed all their hopes, as if punishing them. Some people couldn't help but shed tears of regret. Hundreds of thousands of lives are bullshit. Even if Lu Dao didn't kill them, they would die sooner or later. That's right, they died a long time ago. They didn't die at the hands of young Master Lu, but at the hands of you. Shameless things, you slaughtered hundreds of thousands of soldiers of Dachyon. Why don't you feel guilty? How dare you blame the heroes of Dachyon? Ha ha, butcher, on the battlefield, Killing hundreds or thousands of people makes you a butcher, on the battlefield, killing tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people makes you a hero. Young Master Liu, he killed hundreds of thousands of enemy soldiers and is the god of Dachyon. Ha ha, you don't even understand this. Go home and raise pigs. The generals of Dachyon would not let their soldiers be influenced by the words of the ancient barbarian country, leaving a bad impression on Liu Dao. They refuted and sneered. As they spoke, they rushed forward and fought with the strong men of the ancient barbarian country again. Kill, kill all the enemies. Don't leave any alive. Originally, the other soldiers who had heard that Lu Dao killed hundreds of thousands of people with one move and called him a butcher, felt a little strange and even feared Lu Dao. Now, they all reacted and launched a counterattack against the ancient barbarian kingdom. In an instant, the battlefield, which had just stopped for less than ten breaths, was once again filled with deafening fighting sounds. The ancient barbarian kingdom wanted to rely on the advantage of the previous sneak attack that injured the high-level officials of Dachyon and quickly kill several gods. At this moment, they all attacked desperately. It seemed that they wanted to fight with Dachyon to the end, and even die together. Especially those traitors, they all had bloodshot eyes, burning their blood and the power of the five elements, rushing from a distance, trying to kill Lu Dao. However, Dachyon was not afraid at all. Everyone was on guard, not allowing the ancient barbarian kingdom any chance to sneak attack or assassinate Lu Dao. However, Lu Dao was not idle either. He now possesses the perfect innate vitality, as well as the fifth-grade cloth shoes, soft armor, and weapons, as well as the earth-grade body movements and martial arts. Now he is very powerful. Not to mention the early stage of the Grand Master, even the middle and late stages of the Grand Master are not his opponents. Therefore, Lu Dao rushed directly into the group of innate dead soldiers. He wanted to rely on his two pieces of armor to kill these dead soldiers who would self-destruct first. He didn't care about what the generals of the ancient barbarian country said. On the battlefield, if you still have a kind heart, you are looking for death. Not only will you harm yourself, but also your comrades. Puff, Kai, Lu Dao is extremely fast, shuttling among the innate dead soldiers, just like a shadow, these dead soldiers can't even touch the corner of his clothes. He cut them one by one, madly harvesting. Ah, 
Behind Lu Dao, there are two grandmasters who are madly chasing Lu Dao, but they can't keep up with the speed and can only be helpless and furious. Watching Lu Dao kill those assassins who were originally very threatening. Boom. Seeing that they could not touch Lu Dao, those assassins decisively chose to self-destruct when Lu Dao came to kill them. But what disappointed them was. Even so, they could not hurt Lu Dao at all. All the warriors, besiege Lu Dao. There are many innate warriors in the ancient barbarian kingdom, and there are at least nearly a thousand left. At this moment, in a short time, Lu Dao killed more than 40 of them, and the other warriors did not want to sit and wait for death. The remaining warriors abandoned the other people in the Dakian kingdom and wanted to surround Lu Dao, or explode themselves and blow Lu Dao to death. However, the soldiers of the Dakian kingdom would not give them such an opportunity, and all of them attacked and killed these warriors frantically. Even if they could not kill them, they must delay their steps and disrupt their plans. But in this way, those warriors decisively turned around and pulled other innate strongmen of the Dakion kingdom, choosing to die together. Boom boom boom. The scene was horrible. In less than ten breaths, dozens of warriors exploded themselves, and also killed dozens of Dakion innates. A large number of innates were seriously injured and almost lost their combat effectiveness. Then, a large number of dead warriors continued to rush towards these seriously injured Shantians without hesitation, and they exploded directly in their despair and fear. Others wanted to rescue them, but it was too late. In the blink of an eye, hundreds of Shantians died tragically. This is the cruelty of the battlefield. When another dead warrior rushed towards Lu Dao, other Shantian masters of Dakion Kingdom hesitated subconsciously. Just this little hesitation allowed a large number of dead warriors to break through the defense line and approach Lu Dao. Boom, one after another, dead warriors, and even some traitors, all rushed towards Lu Dao like moths to a flame, and exploded around Lu Dao one after another. The power of hundreds of people exploding together was so great that even the Grand Masters felt a chill. However, after the explosion, when their spiritual consciousness swept to the center of the explosion, they found a shocking scene. They saw that Lu Dao, who was at the center of the explosion, was protected by three shields, but, he was not hurt at all. Of the three shields, two were from a piece of gold thread soft armor and one from an iron armor. The remaining one was created by Lu Dao with his internal energy, as if it were a protective chi. Thick Earth Vajra Shield Perfect. This is a set of defensive martial arts, a top-grade Earth-level skill, also from Kong Hao, with very strong defensive power. Two of the three shields were broken, and the last one was intact. Seeing this, the innates, grandmasters, and those traitors of the ancient barbarian country were all in despair. Such a large-scale self-explosion, the power was so great that even the grandmaster perfection and the initial stage of the god platform dared not resist it, but Lu Dao took it and was not injured. Everyone, retreat. Seeing this, General Du of the ancient barbarian country stared at Lu Dao deeply, his eyes full of unwillingness, but he could only give such an order. He knew that with Lu Dao as a variable, this raid had almost no chance of winning. Originally in their plan, Chi Qian launched a riot in Mu Feng City and attacked and killed other cultivators of the Dakion country. The effect was very good. In a short time, two gods, more than thirty masters, and hundreds of innates were killed. As long as they were given a little more time, they would be able to take down Mu Feng City, and even kill Kong Hao, without paying too much price. But Lu Dao appeared. With a song, he saved Mu Feng City from decline. Although they eventually killed three gods, seriously injured several gods, and killed nearly fifty masters, the price they paid was too high. Except Chi Qian, all other rebels died tragically. Of course, even so, they still had a great chance of winning. After all, a rebellion broke out in the Dakion garrison army before, with heavy casualties. Not only nearly 200,000 low-level soldiers were killed and injured, but also many generals at the innate, master, and god realms died. They chased the Dakion garrison army for 200 miles. They also saw victory in sight. Who would have thought that Lu Dao would appear again? With an ice bead that has generated intelligence, hundreds of thousands of troops from their ancient barbarian country were wiped out in an instant. In this way, Lu Dao made their advantage and low-level soldiers disappear, and he is now continuously killing the innate dead soldiers. But their master masters have no way to deal with Lu Dao. If they send a god platform to hunt down Lu Dao, 
their advantage in the god platform realm will be even smaller. What's more, Dakion will also contain them and will not give them such an opportunity at all. In this case, they can only retreat. Otherwise, after Lu Dao kills the innate, he will kill the master. They are afraid that they will all be left behind. Therefore, at this moment, they can only choose to retreat. General Du was helpless and unwilling. He did not expect that a good victory would be defeated because of one person. Go, the masters of the ancient barbarian country are well trained. After hearing General Du's order, they retreated decisively and fled in the direction of the ancient barbarian country. Kill them, don't let them run away. The Dakion soldiers would not watch them run away, so they all chased after them. Chi Qian, stay here. Shen Tu Nan, save your life. Kong Hao and General Wei chased after the two men with all their might. Chi Qian, needless to say, was originally the second lord of Yongkong Prefecture, but he betrayed Yongkong Prefecture. How could Kong Hao let him go? Shen Tu Nan was the deputy general of the garrison army, with a cultivation level of the seventh level of the divine platform, and he started a riot in the garrison army. Explode. As General Du's order fell, the remaining Shantian realm warriors turned around and exploded without hesitation, blocking Dakion's pursuit. Boom. Hundreds of Shantians self-destructed, especially the physical bodies and spiritual consciousness self-destructed together, the power was terrifying. The aftermath of the self-destruction, even the hard ice on the ground was blown into big pits one after another, and the corpses inside were blown away. In an instant, a large number of Shantians in Dakion were blown to death. The rest of the Shantians and Grandmasters were forced to stop. Only the Shantai realm was not affected and continued to pursue. They vowed to leave more people. Even if they could not leave all the Shantai strongmen, they had to leave those Grandmasters to avenge the dead Dakion soldiers. What's more, there were still a group of traitors alive. The group of defectors all fled silently at this moment, without stopping for a moment. They did not rush up to fight with Lu Dao again, because they had no chance to get close to Lu Dao. Instead of rushing up to die, it is better to live. As long as they are still alive, they can spread out in the ancient barbarian country. But, whether it is the Dakion generals or Lu Dao, they want them to die. Whoosh! An arrow shot out from behind, instantly passing through the vortex of the self-explosion of the dead soldiers, and instantly shot into the back of the head of a seventh-level traitor of the Grand Master. The traitor's head exploded instantly, and he was killed directly, and even his consciousness did not escape. Lu Dao, the group of traitors, their consciousness swept towards Lu Dao who shot the arrow, and there seemed to be a thick flame burning in their eyes. It's all Lu Dao's fault. If it weren't for Lu Dao, they could quickly occupy Yongkong Prefecture and enjoy the supreme status and many resources. However, the appearance of Lu Dao shattered their hopes. They wanted to cut Lu Dao into pieces. But at this moment, they didn't dare to stay and could only continue to fly away. Another person wanted to pick up Lu Dao's spiritual arrow, but unfortunately the spiritual arrow was a fifth-level upper grade, and the spiritual intelligence was relatively mature. It turned around and flew back to the hands of Lu Dao who was chasing him. Lu Dao drew his bow and shot the arrow again. There were strong men on the divine platform who wanted to resist, but they were restrained by Dakion's divine platform. Ah, another sixth-level Grandmaster was shot dead, which made the group of Grandmasters even more panicked. It's a pity that I don't have the earth-level archery, otherwise I would definitely kill the Grandmaster perfection and even leave a god platform. Lu Dao felt a little regretful. Among all the skills he acquired, the highest grade archery was the Zon level upper grade, and there was no earth level. There was no earth level archery in the skills Kong Hao gave him. Otherwise, it would be easier for him to kill the Grandmaster late and Grandmaster perfection. He could even stop a god platform. Although he might not be able to kill it, it would not be a problem to leave it. Lu Dao's regret just appeared in his heart. The next moment, a jade slip flew towards Lu Dao, and General Wei said, My friend, this is a middle-grade earth-level archery, take a look. Thank you, General Wei. Lu Dao was overjoyed and took the jade slip directly. He scanned it with his spiritual sense, and then continued to shoot the Grand Master with the Zon-level archery, not in a hurry to use the earth-level archery. Swoosh! As Lu Dao shot arrows one after another, one master after another fell. There were not only traitors, but also generals of the ancient barbarian kingdom. 
The masters of the ancient barbarian kingdom wanted to intercept Lu Dao's attack, but without exception, they were all restrained by the Great Qian's god platform and could only watch Lu Dao shoot their masters. Everyone, I'm sorry for you. After six masters died in succession, the remaining masters, under the order of General Du of the ancient barbarian kingdom, could only turn around and fight with the Great Qian masters unwillingly and then exploded. To fight for the opportunity for the masters of the god platform to escape. The masters of the ancient barbarian kingdom burned their blood, vitality, and even their souls to escape with all their strength. They gave up on others. This is the cruelty of war in the martial arts world. Once defeated, unless people of higher realms restrain and protect, and let people of lower realms escape first, otherwise, the only ones who can escape in the end are those with higher realms and stronger strength. The only ending for those with lower cultivation and weaker strength is death. Lu Dao had mixed feelings about this. Because once Dakion was defeated, his ending would be the same as these people, not much better than theirs. Chase them, and keep those traitors. General Wei was also very decisive at this moment. He also burned his vitality and soul, and even deliberately hinted with words that they could let go of other people from the ancient barbarian country, but all the traitors must be kept. On the battlefield, the competition is never just about combat power, but also about strategy. Words can also kill the enemy. Boom. The gods of Dakion country also burned everything to chase after them as if they were not afraid of their lives. Many gods of the ancient barbarian country gnashed their teeth in anger, and some even looked at the traitors in a veiled way. Consider whether to abandon these people in exchange for a chance to escape. Traitors, of course, are used. Die. The gap between each level of the divine platform is huge, not to mention the perfect divine platform in the early stage of the hunting divine platform. General Wei, who burned his vitality and soul, caught up with a defected divine platform level 3 in almost the blink of an eye. He waved his Fang Tian Hua Ji and was about to kill him. With a loud bang, this person exploded without any warning, which made General Wei look very ugly. On the other side, Kong Hao was not much better. He quickly caught up with a defected divine platform level 1, but did not kill him, I won't kill you. Kong Hao's divine platform level 7 strength was fully exerted, and he wanted to capture this person alive. However, what made him angry was that this person also exploded. In this way, you chased and I fled. Many generals of the Dakion kingdom killed all the masters of the ancient barbarian kingdom, and killed nearly 10 divine platforms. They chased and killed them all the way for 200 miles, and arrived at the border in a blink of an eye. There is also a city on the border of Dakion. However, there are no ordinary people in this city, only the garrison army is stationed. After the previous battle, this city had already collapsed and turned into a ruin. There were countless corpses inside. In the collapsed houses, in the military camp, under the city wall. There were dead bodies everywhere. Almost all of them were soldiers from the Dakion kingdom. Even many people died in their beds, in the places where they rested. Many people still had a blank look on their faces, as if they didn't know what happened and died inexplicably. Lu Dao didn't have time to sigh. Seeing that the ancient barbarian country's divine platform and the four defected divine platforms were about to cross the border and enter the ancient barbarian country, Lu Dao made a decisive move, and his bow was like a full moon in an instant. Moon piercing arrow technique perfect. Lu Dao used the perfect arrow technique of the middle grade of the earth rank and shot an arrow at one of the injured divine platforms in the early stage. Whoosh. Not good. The divine soul of the divine platform in the early stage gave a warning, and instantly swept the arrow shot by Lu Dao, and its power was even more than ten times stronger than before. This person used his body skills to the extreme to avoid the arrow. Puff. However, he was disappointed. The arrow still hit his shoulder. He failed to dodge it completely, and his protective chi was directly broken. His entire left arm was shot off, and it was cut off from the shoulder. Save me. This person was terrified. He was burning his vitality and soul. The longer the time, the greater the consumption. At this moment, he was seriously injured. If he was left behind, he would definitely die. However, no one paid attention to him. Even Shen Tu Nan didn't even look at him and continued to escape. At this time, only his own life was the most important. He would not waste time for others. Even, Shen Tu Nan also ordered with his soul, explode. 
The next moment, the broken arm platform flew towards Kong Hao and General Wei in despair, and died in the complex expressions of the two. Self-explosion, self-explosion again. This scene happened too many times in this attack and riot. Every time, they could see the unwillingness and regret in the expressions and eyes of these people. But they had to do it. It seems that they are out of control, or their consciousness and soul are controlled by others, and they explode involuntarily. The secret method of controlling others' consciousness and soul, controlling their death, and taking them as slaves is also available in Dakion country, and there are even many of them. But even so, those who are controlled will also have a certain degree of autonomy. Even if their lives are threatened, they can still resist. The worst case is death, or even death with the master. But like Chi Qian and Shen Tu Nan, they can directly control people's consciousness and make them explode without hesitation. They neither resist orders nor choose to die with their masters. Dakion country does not have it. But Gumin country has it. It is a secret method created by a peak warrior of the ancient barbarian country. The warrior king once relied on his own strength to sneak into Dakion country and wanted to enslave the genius of Dakion. As a result, he was discovered by the Dakion martial god and was finally killed in a secret realm. But it is obvious that his secret method has been passed down. It is even possible that he is not dead yet. Kong Hao and General Wei looked at each other and saw the solemnity in each other's eyes. Such a powerful King Wu has been lurking in Dakion for more than ten years. It's terrifying to think about it. The two of them felt uneasy. But at this time, they could only suppress this uneasiness and continue to hunt down the traitor. Ha, huh, the power is so strong. Lu Dao was slightly surprised when an arrow hit the initial stage of the god platform and broke his shoulder. In his judgment, this arrow would at most make him flustered and interrupt his escape, and would not cause much damage. The result was obviously beyond Lu Dao's expectations. The man was injured and was shot by an arrow, and then he exploded. It was a pleasant surprise. The spirit arrow flew back, and Lu Dao shot again. Whoosh! The same arrow was shot again shooting at another defected initial stage of the god platform. Stop it! A set of armor appeared on the divine platform, and at the same time, a shield and a protective aura emerged, trying to block the arrow. With a pop, the shield and the protective aura were shot through at the same time, and the next moment the spiritual arrow shot at the armor. With a bang, unfortunately, the arrow failed to penetrate the armor, but only shot the man and the armor away. The man flew backwards, and his speed doubled. Unfortunately, the fifth grade bow and arrow is still a bit low in grade. Lu Dao secretly thought it was a pity. But he didn't know how much his fighting prowess in this battle had shocked the others. Come again. Withdrawing the spiritual arrow, Lu Dao shot another arrow. Keep chasing that man. Because among those who defected, apart from Qi Qian and Shen Tunin, he was the only one who was still alive. Call out. This arrow was blocked again. Lu Dao didn't stop and shot arrow after arrow at the man. Gradually, cracks appeared in the man's armor, and finally he was shot with a bang. Puff, another arrow. This time without armor, the man was shot through the thigh with an arrow. Seeing no possibility of escape, this person also chose to self-destruct to block the pursuit of Kong Hao and General Wei. So far, of the defectors, only Qi Qian and Shen Tunin are still alive. During this period, Kong Hao and General Wei also successively killed several sacred platforms of the ancient barbarian kingdom. In the end, only a few people, including Qi Qian, Shen Tunin, and General Du, were allowed to escape from the Dakion border. General Wei and others did not pursue too deeply, but after pursuing for another hundred miles, they gave up the pursuit when they found that they could not leave a few people behind. Being chased by Dagon for hundreds of miles, the remaining shrines in the ancient barbarian kingdom felt very aggrieved. Looking at General Wei, Kong Hao and others who had stopped, they felt a sense of humiliation. This battle was inexplicably overturned and the situation was reversed. They were filled with anger, but they had to accept this reality. They lost, badly. It can be said that the entire army was wiped out. General Du, Qi Qian, Shen Tunin and others all had gloomy and ugly faces. Lu Dao, Dakion is surrounded by enemies on all sides and will eventually be swallowed up by all the countries. If you have such ability, why don't you come to our ancient barbarian country? Seeing that Da Qian had stopped chasing him, 
General Du suddenly changed his mind and shouted to Lu Dao. We, the ancient barbarians, will ignore the past and even grant you the position of national master. We will use the power of the whole country to cultivate you and help you become a martial god as soon as possible. Ascend to the divine realm. Since you, surnamed Wei, kill people with your words, Du will also use your words to disgust you. Lu Dao killed hundreds of thousands of soldiers from their ancient barbarian kingdom. How could General Du let him live happily? The human heart is the most unpredictable. Although many people knew that what he said was not credible and was just a joke, they could not make people suspicious. After all, that's the god of war. A realm that many people dream of, the top realm in this world. Whether it is status, strength, or longevity, it is an existence that countless people yearn for. Qi Qian and Shen Tunin could betray before, so why couldn't Lu Dao? General Wei frowned when he heard this. The ancient barbarian country can make any promises to Lu Dao, after all, they are all lies, and no one in the ancient barbarian country will take them seriously. But he didn't dare. If he promised Lu Dao the position of national master and the resources of a martial god, then Dakian country would have to fulfill it, otherwise it would chill the hearts of the people of Dakian country. Although Lu Dao's contribution this time was very great, he should not be the one to receive any reward. So at this time, General Wei was a little angry. Preparing your words to say something. Lu Dao chuckled and said, Okay, but I want to see your sincerity first. Lu Dao, General Wei, Kong Hao and others were all subconsciously worried, fearing that Lu Dao would really defect to the ancient barbarian kingdom. Oh, what kind of sincerity? General Du looked at Lu Dao with interest. Lu Dao said with a smile, It doesn't matter, as long as the general hands Qi Qian and Shen Tunin to me, what do you think, general? General Du paused when he heard this, and the smile froze on his face. General Wei, Kong Hao and others breathed a sigh of relief and even wanted to laugh. Qi Qian and Shen Tunin's hearts suddenly tightened. General Du grimaced and said in a deep voice, Qi and Qian have made great contributions to our ancient barbarians. How can we, the ancient barbarians, do anything like tearing down rivers and bridges? They are just two late-stage shrines. Even General Du can't bear to part with them. How can we talk about the god of martial arts? Lu Dao shook his head in disappointment and said, It seems that General Du has no sincerity at all. It's better to stop joking. It will only make people laugh. As soon as he finished speaking, the other powerful men from the Dakian kingdom looked at General Du with a taunting smile. General Du's chest heaved with anger. The original intention was to discuss Da Qiangwo, but I didn't expect that Lu Dao would easily resolve it. Lu Dao not only turned the tide of this battle, but even the current verbal confrontation was at a disadvantage. It can be said, the ancient barbarian kingdom was completely defeated by Lu Dao in this battle. Enjoy your last moments, Dakian is not that safe. General Du stared deeply at Lu Dao, left only one sentence, and then turned around and left. Lu Dao, if this kid hadn't appeared, we would have succeeded. It's really embarrassing that our majestic ancient barbarian army was defeated at the hands of a young man. Then where did Lu Dao come from? Was he sent by the Dakian royal family? Qi Qian, you need to give me an explanation. Several generals of the ancient barbarian kingdom were all very angry, with expressions of unwillingness on their faces. It could even be said that they were furious. This attack, which had been planned for more than 10 years, had obviously achieved amazing results at the beginning, and was about to succeed, but it was all destroyed at the hands of Lu Dao. With a song and an ice bead, he reversed the defeat of the Dakian kingdom and destroyed hundreds of thousands of their ancient barbarian army. A little-known boy made all their efforts go to waste. How could they be willing to do so? Qi Qian's face turned ugly when he heard this, and he said in a deep voice, I have never heard of a person like Lu Dao before, and I don't know where he came from. He seemed to appear out of thin air. No one knew about him beforehand. Even Yang Kong Mansion doesn't know about his existence. As for the royal family's dispatch, Qi Qian shook his head. If the Dakian royal family knew about the songs sung by Lu Dao, how could they be used in a small Mufeng city? They must have taught a large number of people secretly, and then sang them all over the country to search for spies and traitors. So, I can only say that Lu Dao's appearance was an accident. In fact, Qi Qian was also filled with confusion and shock at this time. I wonder how a genius like Lu Dao could appear in a small place like Mufeng City. 
he should go to Yongkong Mansion, Yenzhou, or even the Imperial Capital. Those places are where geniuses like him gather. Shocked, he originally thought that Lu Dao was just lucky. He got a singing martial arts skill from nowhere, happened to run into the riot in Mufeng City, and used his singing to resolve the crisis in Mufeng City. But, when Lu Dao used Kong Hao's movement skills, he was stunned. His sworn brother Kong Hao has been practicing the Wandering Dragon body technique, a high-grade earth-level body technique, for more than 20 years, but he has not been able to fully comprehend it to perfection. But as for Lu Dao, he was even more proficient in using it than Kong Hao, as if he had reached perfection. Qi Qian was very sure that Lu Dao did not know this movement technique before, because when he was in New Feng City, he had never seen Lu Dao use it when he was chased by a strong master. This also means that Lu Dao obtained the movement technique from Kong Hao in less than half an hour and practiced it to perfection. Not only that, he also saw Lu Dao using the thick earth Vajra shield, which was also a technique practiced by Kong Hao. Coupled with the moon-piercing arrow technique given by General Wei, all of them prove that Lu Dao's understanding is incredible. Therefore, Qi Qian was also puzzled as to where Lu Dao came from. Such a character shouldn't be so unknown. Accident. What an accident. Shen Tunin was furious. He thought Qi Qian was shirking responsibility and said angrily, I asked you to launch a riot in Mufeng City, but your entire army was wiped out. Seeing that we were almost successful, you lured people here again, and in the end, it led to our defeat and the loss of hundreds of thousands of troops. You can shirk responsibility with just an accident. Quote. Shen Tunin was very angry. They clearly have a huge advantage. As long as the people from Mufeng City don't come to support them, and Qi Qian only needs to contain the people who support them, the ancient barbarian kingdom can quickly take down the garrison. Then take Mufeng City and occupy Yongkong Mansion. By then, he will be able to obtain enough resources to reach the realm of King Wu. The result is now, he didn't get anything, didn't say anything, and became a polished commander. All the disciples of his Shantou family who were in the army were all dead. Those disciples who are still within the territory of Dakion will be found one by one by Dakion sooner or later and eliminated one by one. The hope of reaching the realm of King Wu was shattered, and the family was about to be destroyed. How could he not be angry? Hearing this, the others also stared at Qi Qian with ugly expressions. After this defeat, they will all be held accountable when they go back, and now they need a scapegoat. Suddenly, Qi Qian thought of something. The ice bead in Lu Dao's hand is almost identical to the refrigeration ice bead from Tianyin In. Is it possible that Lu Dao was sent by Tianyin In? Tianyin In. Hearing this name, all the generals of the ancient barbarian kingdom couldn't help but be silent. The reputation of Tianyin In is not only known throughout Dakion, but also surrounding countries are aware of such a force. It is spread throughout the entire Dakion kingdom, with great influence and strength. It can be ranked among the top three among all the forces in the Dakion kingdom. There is a god of war sitting in charge. General Du glanced sideways at Qi Qian and said, as you just said, if Tianyin In had known about Lu Dao's song, then the Dakion royal family would have known better. They were definitely not trying to scare the snake away like they are now, but had already known about it. Just eradicate all the spies, so, he is not from Tianyin In. Quote. Indeed. Qi Qian's guess contradicted what he had said before. Qi Qian was silent. As soon as his guess came out, he knew he was wrong. His heart is already in chaos now. Okay, now it's useless to speculate on Lu Dao's origins. The key is how to make up for the losses in this battle. General Du sighed and continued. Qi Qian, please record the song sung by Lu Dao in detail. As soon as he finished speaking, Qi Qian handed him a jade slip. Obviously, Qi Qian had already recorded the song. General Du took the jade slip, and with a sweep of his consciousness, he memorized the song in detail in his mind. Looking at these lyrics, he looked a little complicated. It was such a song that made them fall short. I hope this song can also uncover the spies in our ancient barbarian country. In this way, even if we lose this battle, it will not be without gain. General Du thought about it and planned to go back and change the lyrics so that people could concentrate on understanding it. Next, Dakion country will definitely take action to eliminate spies. We need to spread the news as soon as possible and also notify other countries. As for you, 
After putting away the jade slips, General Du looked at Chi Qian and said, I will give you a task now. You must find a way to sneak into Dakion secretly. No matter what method you use, you must catch Lu Dao, or at least figure him out. It's very important whether the ice beads came from somewhere or whether he made them himself. It would be okay if it was obtained from somewhere. With just one, it is not a big threat. But if Lu Dao made it himself, it would pose a great threat to the ancient barbarian country and other countries around Dakion. Low-level soldiers, even innately strong ones, will no longer be a threat to the Dakion army. Facing Dakion, they had almost no chance of winning. Especially, General Du is still not sure whether the power of the ice beads can be enhanced. If it can continue to be enhanced, the ancient barbarian country could not bear the consequences. At this time, he could only hope that the ice bead in Lu Dao's hand was the only one. Just when he thought about what Chi Qian mentioned, the ice beads were almost exactly the same as the refrigeration ice beads at Tianyin Inn, he felt a hidden worry in his heart. Sneak into Dakion. When Chi Qian heard this, his expression suddenly changed. He has betrayed Da Qian. If he is discovered after sneaking in, he will definitely die. Chi Qian hurriedly said, General Du, Chi. Before he finished speaking, General Du handed him a storage bag. Don't worry, I'm not asking you to die. These things should be enough for you to handle this matter. Chi Qian took the storage bag, glanced at it with his consciousness, and saw clearly what was inside, and his face suddenly lit up with joy. There was something he had always longed for, a secret method that could stimulate the ancient barbarian bloodline and revive it. Once he revives the ancient barbarian bloodline, his qualifications will be further improved, and by then, the realm of King Wu will be just around the corner. There are other things that allow him to hide in Dagon very well. Chi Qian put away his things and said, General Du, don't worry, Chi Qian will definitely handle this matter. Well, take advantage of the fact that the people named Wei are short of manpower, so you can sneak into Da Qing immediately. General Du nodded and warned. Remember, the main purpose of your visit is to investigate the matter of Bingzu and don't cause any extraneous problems. As for Lu Dao, it would be best if he could be captured alive. If not, then kill him. If you can do it well, the ancient barbarian country will never treat you badly in this matter. Chi Qian understands. Chi Qian nodded, didn't say anything more, turned around and walked towards Da Qian from the other direction. At this time, General Du sent a message to his soul again, you can tell that person in detail about this matter. If he takes action, it will be much easier to kill Lu Dao. But in this way, the identity of King Wu hidden in Dakion may be exposed. Being exposed for the sake of Lu Dao is not worth the gain. How to choose is up to him. At this time, Lu Dao still didn't know that the crisis had quietly arrived. Win, we won. Yeah, we actually won this battle. It's incredible, we actually won. On the other side, the powerful gods of Dakion looked at the retreat of the ancient barbarian country, and his expression was a little dazed. Although this battle took place in just one hour, the process was full of twists and turns. When Shen Tunin led his men to rebel in the military camp, and then the ancient barbarian country's dead soldiers madly attacked the garrison army, causing them to instantly kill and injure hundreds of thousands of soldiers. The anger, Fear, and despair made everyone lose confidence in this battle. Even when they saw Kong Hao and others coming to support, it was the same. As a result, they never thought that Lu Dao would freeze hundreds of thousands of troops of the ancient barbarian country with an ice bead, instantly reverse the situation on the battlefield, and save the defeat of the garrison army. Even, in the end, he miraculously led them to almost completely wipe out the ancient barbarian country, leaving only a few gods who escaped. Among them, there were two who defected from Dakion. Such a reversal and such a victory made them feel a little dazed and unbelievable. Even if it happened right in front of them and they experienced it personally, they felt it was too dreamy when they recalled it. It was too unreal. Therefore, when these Dakion generals looked at Lu Dao, their expressions were extremely complicated. Shock, admiration, awe, fanaticism, emerged one by one. It was just such a teenager who looked very immature, as if he had just been born, but brought them a short but most exciting war in their lives. Fortunately, there was young Master Lu in this battle, otherwise, my guarding army would be in danger. Yes, if there was no young Master Lu, we would be defeated miserably. 
Fortunately, young Master Lu was on our side and defeated the ancient barbarian army, otherwise the consequences would be unimaginable. At this moment, several generals of the Divine Platform praised Lu Dao fiercely. After all, once they were defeated, these generals would be skinned alive if they did not die, and they would probably be severely punished if they were held accountable afterwards. Now they not only don't have to worry about these, but also have achieved unprecedented victories, which can be said to be fruitful. Although the great credit belongs to Lu Dao, they can only drink some soup, but it is better than losing the battle, and they can also get a lot of rewards. So, even Kong Hao and General Wei kept praising Lu Dao. Lu Dao smiled shyly and said, Thank you for the praise from all the seniors. This is all Lu Dao's job. What a job! Brother Lu is really a role model for my Dakion. Kong Hao laughed heartily, put his arm around Lu Dao's shoulders, and winked and said, I don't know which school Brother Lu is from. Do you want to come to my Yongkong mansion to be the lord of the mansion? Don't listen to him, what's the point of being the lord of the mansion, it's better to come to my army to guard the army as a general. If a man doesn't go to the battlefield, what kind of man is he? General Wei also subconsciously hurriedly pulled people, wanting to pull Lu Dao, the genius, into the army. Seeing the two people competing so much, the other generals couldn't help but smile. Lu Dao smiled and declined politely, I just established a sect and am already the leader of a sect. I still need to develop the sect well. I am afraid I can only thank the two seniors for their kindness. Why call me senior? If you think highly of me, just call me brother. Kong Hao still held Lu Dao's shoulders and asked curiously, what is the name of the sect established by Brother Lu? My sect is called Immortal Sect. Lu Dao's expression was full of pride. At the beginning, when Lu Dao established the Immortal Sect, he felt that the name was a bit second-rate, but with the rapid development of the sect in a short period of time, Lu Dao is now very proud of the Immortal Sect. He believes that the Immortal Sect will become an Immortal Sect standing at the top of the world as its name suggests. Immortal Sect, what a good name. Master Lu is so bold. Immortal Sect, finally become immortal. Everyone's eyes lit up when they heard this. Several powerful people on the Divine Platform did not look down on the sect established by a junior in the early stage of the innate realm. They knew that as long as Lu Dao did not die in the middle of the journey, his future achievements would be extraordinary and the Immortal Sect would naturally rise. Does Brother Lu's Immortal Sect need help? I won't say anything else, but I have enough techniques below the heaven rank. Kong Hao was very enthusiastic and generous, by the way, where is your immortal sect built? Do you want to move to Yongkong Prefecture? I will definitely pick a piece of land with rich heaven and earth vitality for you, so that your immortal sect can develop quickly. Kong Hao sincerely hoped that Lu Dao could move the immortal sect to Yongkong Prefecture. He also wanted to help a little, and it was also a thank you to Lu Dao for saving him from the water and fire. General Wei did not argue with him anymore, because after calming down, he remembered other things. Lu Dao's heart moved when he heard this. Enough techniques, this really touched his heart. He is not short of other techniques now, but there are few earth rank and heaven rank techniques. It can only be said that you get as much as you give. He exposed some things in this battle, but the gains were also huge. The skills of Yongkong Mansion alone were enough to satisfy Lu Dao. Moreover, there must be other gains. Since Kong Hao said so, Lu Dao agreed and thanked him, then I'm sorry to bother you, Brother Kong. Please take care of me in the future. No, no, the immortal sect must visit my Yongkong Mansion more often in the future. Kong Hao's face was full of joy. He really liked to make friends, especially geniuses. It's good for the immortal sect to move to Yongkong Mansion. At this time, General Wei coughed and said, Young Master Lu defeated the ancient barbarian army in this battle. The ancient barbarian country will definitely not give up. They will definitely send strong men to assassinate you secretly. Young Master Lu will be much safer if he goes to Yongkong Mansion. Hearing General Wei's words, everyone's happy expressions also eased. It's not that General Wei deliberately ruined the atmosphere. He was mainly worried about Lu Dao's safety. Now he reminded Kong how to protect Lu Dao. Well, the ancient barbarian country will definitely do something secretly. Kong Hao also said seriously. These barbarians look tough, but in fact they are just doing some small tricks. But General Wei, don't worry, Brother Lu will go to my Yongkong mansion, I will definitely protect him. 
Don't look at Kong Hao's somewhat unremarkable appearance. In fact, how can someone who can become the lord of the mansion be a simple person? He also took this into consideration, so he was so enthusiastic to pull Lu Dao to Yong Kong Mansion. The reason why he didn't say it directly. First, it was to save Lu Dao's face. After all, he was the leader of a sect and was protected by someone, which was somewhat embarrassing. Second, he didn't want Lu Dao to feel that he owed someone a favor because of this matter. But it was obvious that General Wei was more realistic and didn't think as much as he thought. Well, we must be especially careful of Chi Qian and Shen Tu Nan. These two people can do so many things behind our backs. Needless to say, their ability to hide is strong. They are the best candidates to assassinate young Master Lu. General Wei analyzed. But with your Yong Kong mansion protecting them, I am not very worried about the two of them. On the contrary, I don't know if that person is still alive. If he takes action, it will be a bit troublesome. Who is that person? Lu Dao frowned and asked. It was related to his own safety, so Lu Dao had to pay attention. His name is Shan Yu. Shan Yu, the genius martial king of the ancient barbarian kingdom was only one step away from being promoted to the martial god. However, geniuses are often arrogant, and so was this person. Twenty years ago, Shan Yu sneaked into Dakion and used secret methods to enslave the geniuses of Dakion. He wanted to completely control the new generation of geniuses in Dakion and control the future of Dakion from the root. Only, not long after his action started, he was discovered by a martial god from Dakion. Even though he has reached the perfect state of martial king and his strength is invincible at the same level, it is not easy for him to become a martial god. After a fierce battle, Shan Yu was defeated and had to flee. Unfortunately, Shan Yu failed to escape from Dakion. In the end, he was chased into a secret realm and died tragically in the hands of the god of war. Everyone thought that Shan Yu's incident was in the past, but now Qi Qian and Shen Tunin's incident occurred. It can be seen that these two people either obtained Shan Yu's secret method in that secret realm, or Shan Yu was still alive and they were controlled by Shan Yu. Listening to Kong Hao slowly finish talking about Shan Yu, everyone looked solemn. The same was true for Lu Dao, who felt the pressure double. However, pressure is also a driving force, which can prompt him to work harder to improve his cultivation and strength. Just like this war, when Lu Dao solved the Red Flower Valley, he felt relaxed and planned to practice step by step in the realm of marrow refining. After all, it only took a month to break through to Shantian. When he knew that the front line was tight, Lu Dao instantly felt the pressure and immediately asked shopkeeper Feng to practice the marrow realm. In less than a day, he broke through to the innate realm and possessed innate and perfect strength. This is what pressure brings. Without this kind of pressure, even if he knew that the dust-removing pill could speed up his cultivation, he would still be reluctant to do so. After all, there was no pressure and the cultivation did not take long. If you can save money by removing dust pills, why not? Shan Yu is extremely powerful and can be said to be invincible at his level. Back then, I, the great god of martial arts, highly praised his talent. After Kong Hao finished talking about Shan Yu, he continued, he should still be alive, but the ancient barbarian kingdom failed to completely destroy us in this battle, which exposed his existence. If he still wants to continue to hide, he must be at this time it should be at the end, moreover, I have sent the news that he may be alive to King Wu, and it will soon reach the ears of God of War. If such an unstable factor appears, I, God of War, will definitely find him. He has no chance. Take action against Brother Lu. He just finished speaking. A general suddenly said uneasily, Shan Yu is exposed. He must either continue to hide or flee from Dakion. If he is rushing to the border and escapes from us, wouldn't we be in danger? At this time, everyone had returned to the Dakion border. Kong Hao rolled his eyes at him and said angrily, Whatever you can think of, the martial god must also be able to think of. Maybe the martial god has been waiting for him to appear in the sky. Said, Kong Hao couldn't help but waved to the dark sky and said hello, God of War, thank you for your hard work. Seeing Kong Hao's unattractive appearance, everyone, including General Wei, felt helpless. No, you, the majestic head of a palace, can't you be more reliable? Little did they know that there was a figure silently watching them in the strong wind. This figure is an old man in grey clothes. The old man looks very ordinary, 
without any aura of a strong man, but he stands in the sky with his body and looks at the wind as nothing. This kid is still so out of tune. The old man in gray also had some helplessness on his face, and murmured, with such a temper, I'll see how he can survive the martial king's heavenly tribulation. As he murmured, the old man in gray looked at Lu Dao, with a smile on his face, 17 years old, top-notch qualifications, marrow refining realm, not bad, not bad, another genius has appeared in my Dachyon. Especially this song, it really touches my heart. My old martial arts heart, which has not been passionate for a long time, is gradually boiling. I didn't expect that such lyrics would come from a 17-year-old boy. It's really rare. Sean Yu has been lurking in Dachyon for 20 years, and trying to find him aimlessly is undoubtedly like finding a needle in a haystack. Since Lu Dao ruined Sean Yu's plan, Sean Yu might come to kill Lu Dao. This at least gave the old man a direction to find Sean Yu. But it was obvious that Sean Yu was very cautious and did not look for him, but still chose to lurk. This made the old man very sad. This rat has been hiding in Dagon for 20 years. I don't know how many people in Dagon have been enslaved by it, alas. The old man sighed, a sad look on his face. With a flash of figure, the old man appeared next to Lu Dao and others in the blink of an eye. They were all startled. They thought Shan Yu was coming and almost ran away. Fortunately, Kong Hao recognized the old man, bowed with joy and said loudly, Kong Hao of Yongkong Mansion, please see Lord Marshal God. God of War. The others were stunned for a moment and glanced at Kong Hao subconsciously. They didn't expect that Kong Hao's wild guess was actually true. The god of war was actually watching them from outside, and Shan Yu appeared crouching. See Lord Marshal God. Several people hurriedly bowed to pay homage. Everyone, get up. The voice of the old man in gray was very calm, but when he looked at Lu Dao, his voice started to rise and fall, and he said, Lu Dao, you are very good. I am very satisfied with that song. Thank you for the compliment, senior. Lu Dao bowed again, then winked at the old man, as if he was saying, Lord Marshal God, what next? Should I give some reward? Single quote. I, Lu Dao, am only 17 years old and I am appreciated by the God of War. Is it okay to get some rewards? If you go to the wrong village, there will be no such store. The God of War exists, and any reward given to him is priceless. Although it is said that he will become the god of war sooner or later, he has not yet done so. When the others saw Lu Dao acting like this, they couldn't help but worry about him. That was the martial god. They were all frightened when they saw the martial god, for fear of offending the martial god, so they all behaved themselves. Lu Dao is better. Not only was there no fear at all, but he wanted to be rewarded. It is true that newborn calves are not afraid of tigers. Even Kong Hao was a little reserved at this time, not as bohemian as before. The old man, the god of war, also laughed dumbly. With a slight wave of his right hand, a jade talisman appeared in his hand and floated towards Lu Dao. This jade talisman contains several rays of energy that I have stored. It can withstand King Wu's attack for a quarter of an hour without being broken. You can recognize its master with a drop of blood. If it is attacked by King Wu, it can protect its master on its own. Thank you, Senior. Lu Dao's eyes suddenly lit up. What a good thing, this jade talisman came just in time. With this jade talisman, what else is he afraid of Shan Yu? If this guy dares to show up, he will definitely be caught by the god of war. Sure enough, your efforts are worth it. Lu Dao took the jade talisman and immediately recognized its owner with blood and put it away. Senior what about me? Everyone else was also full of envy, especially Kong Hao, who was even more anxious, looking like I wanted it too. Unfortunately, the god of war looked at him angrily, what are you? Do you have any merit? More than 100,000 people in Yongkong prefecture died under your eyes, and you still have the nerve to ask for rewards. After being scolded by the god of war, Kong Hao was immediately stunned, lowering his head and not daring to speak any more. If you don't change your temper, how will you survive the Martial King's heavenly tribulation? The God of War naturally knew that Kong Hao could not be entirely blamed for this matter, so he did not reprimand him too much. Instead, he gave some pointers. Thank you for your guidance, Senior. Kong Hao immediately looked serious. The Martial God did not look at him anymore, but turned to General Wei and said, 
After this battle, you need to meditate for a period of time to avoid inner demons, adjust your mind, and then survive the Martial King's heavenly tribulation. Yes, Senior. General Wei has already completed his sacred stage, and has prepared everything. He plans to overcome the tribulation and be promoted to King Wu in the near future. He is even preparing to hand over the position of general to Shen Tunin. He never thought that such a thing would happen. All I can say is that fate is truly unpredictable. Okay, you guys take care of the post-war matters. The god of war didn't stay long, as if he came here specifically to give Lu Dao a jade talisman, he said a few words and then left, disappearing in the blink of an eye. After the martial god left, everyone looked relaxed. With the jade talisman, Lu Dao's safety was guaranteed, and they no longer had to worry. Oops, the god of war walked too fast, and I didn't even have time to ask him for skills and formations. Lu Dao was a little annoyed. I finally met a martial god and admired him very much. In the end, he only gave him a jade talisman and left directly without waiting for him to ask for skills, formations and other things. If there is a divine formation and it is arranged, Lu Dao will not be afraid of even a martial god, let alone Shan Yu. Kong Hao, General Wei and others looked at each other in shock when they heard this. The contrast between Lu Dao now and Lu Dao during the war is huge. Lu Dao before, killing hundreds of thousands of troops without changing his expression, with such a mind, let alone a boy under 20 years old, even they are inferior. Moreover, he calmly and easily resolved the verbal dispute with General Du, making General Du laugh and giving people a very mature feeling. It's better now. First, he was almost, coquettishly, demanding to reward the god of war, and now he is even more childlike, making people dumbfounded. But I have to say that Lu Dao at this time made them more accepting. This is what a teenager should look like. Brother Lu, don't be too greedy. The martial god's skills are of the heaven level and cannot be given away casually. Kong Hao consoled him, for us monks under King Wu, it is enough to practice earth level skills, but heaven level skills are a bit time consuming, and a bit wasteful. He wanted to say that it took some time to understand, but when he thought of Lu Dao's understanding, he had no choice but to change his mind. If Mr. Lu likes to collect exercises, we also have some in the army. I can make a copy of them and give them to you. General Wei said so. Everyone actually guessed that Lu Dao might be planning to pull the strengths of other families to create his own technique, but they didn't point it out. Lu Dao said happily, then thank you General Wei. Young Master Lu, you're welcome. While everyone was talking, those powerful masters had also arrived at the border. Led by several generals, they guarded the border here. Not long after, a large group of innate experts also came to the border. Under the arrangements of General Shintai, they began to clean up the border cities and repair them. Lu Dao, Kong Hao, General Wei, and the three powerful men from the altar brought by Kong Hao flew towards Mu Feng City. On the way, Lu Dao asked very curiously, General Wei, I have a question for you. Young Master Lu, please speak. Lu Dao said strangely, I'm very curious. Since our Dagon and the ancient barbarian countries have martial kings and strong martial gods, why are they not seen during the war? Just like today's war, as long as our Dagon dispatches a martial king, it should be can you easily turn the situation around on the battlefield? Lu Dao really didn't understand. He had only been in this world for more than 10 days and he didn't understand many things. He could only turn into a curious baby and ask these seniors for advice. When General Wei and Kong Hao heard this, they looked at each other and smiled. Kong Hao explained, King Wu and God of War are so powerful that they can destroy cities and armies with just a wave of their hands. Therefore, their battlefield is outside the sky. Said, Kong Hao pointed to the sky and continued that's the sky outside the sky. There are not only battlefields outside the sky, but also caves, secret realms, etc. The vitality of the heaven and earth is rich, which is more suitable for the cultivation of martial kings and martial gods. What's more important is that there are all the martial arts kings and martial gods from the entire martial arts world gathered there, including not only my Dagon, but also the strong men from the surrounding countries of Dagon, as well as overseas martial gods, and even strong men from the demon clan and demon clan. Quote. In short, it is a place where all powerful people gather. It is more suitable for exchanging martial arts, and it is easier to improve your cultivation and strength. 
The sky is beyond the sky. Listening to Kong Hao's introduction, Liu Dao felt yearning. In this place where the strongest people in the entire martial arts world gather, there must be so many heaven-level techniques. Liu Dao couldn't wait to break through King Wu and ran to Tian Weishan to purchase goods. When you reach the realm of the god of war, you basically work hard to ascend to the god realm. You generally don't care much about other small things. General Wei added. Furthermore, the martial kings and martial gods in the entire martial arts world have signed a martial god agreement. Monks from these two realms cannot participate in ground wars between countries. Once they participate, not only will they be hunted down by all the martial gods, but also the country they belong to will also pay a large amount of compensation, which is not worth the loss. I see. Liu Dao suddenly understood, and then asked, doesn't Shan Yu's behavior violate the martial god agreement? It doesn't count. He just enslaved others to participate in the war. As long as he doesn't directly take action at the level of king of martial arts, it doesn't count. For example, Kong Hao explained, for example, there are some small countries where the national strength is not strong and they only have the strong King Wu. However, there are more arrogant geniuses in the country. In order to prevent the dynasty from being changed in the future, the royal family will choose to enslave these geniuses to serve them. It is unavoidable to let them join the army and join the war, so the war god agreement will not restrict it. Quote. Liu Dao nodded to express his understanding. Liu Dao understood this situation very well. Not to mention the country, even in some families, when a genius appears in a collateral line, the narrow-minded direct lineage will not be able to help suppressing and bullying for fear of being robbed of power and resources. He was even a little more ruthless and directly assassinated the collateral genius. The family is like this, let alone the country. If they don't pay attention, they may change the dynasty, so they can't help but be cruel. This is also a cruel aspect of the martial arts world. It can only be said that fortunately Liu Dao himself does not live in such a small country, but in Dakion. Big countries have the ambition of big countries, while small countries have the helplessness of small countries. Liu Dao asked again in confusion, what if the ancient barbarians occupied Yongkong Prefecture because of Shan Yu, and even attacked Yenzhou in the imperial capital? Wouldn't the martial king and martial god of Dakion care? Brother Liu, you underestimated Dakion. Our Yongkong prefecture is just one of the hundreds of prefectures in the entire Dakion dynasty. Even if they occupied Yongkong prefecture, they can't annex Yenzhou. Kong Hao patted Liu Dao on the shoulder and said in a long voice, My Dakion dynasty has a large population and a vast territory. Even with the orders of the Grand Master and the God Platform, we can pile up their ancient barbarian army to death. Besides, this time we just suffered a loss in Shan Yu's calculations, not because the ancient barbarian army is really that powerful. Liu Dao nodded. Indeed, if Shan Yu hadn't enslaved Qi Qian, Shen Tu Nan and others and caught the garrison army off guard, the ancient barbarian army really had no chance of winning. Why did the ancient barbarian country fight with our Dakion? It's to grab resources. General Wei continued, our Dakion is vast and rich in resources. Such a huge country can eat for many years. As if he knew what Liu Dao was going to ask, General Wei continued, as for why we have to fight with them, it's mainly because we are forced to fight back. In fact, we Dakion don't want to fight with them at all. They are too poor. Even if we win, we can't grab anything good. It's meaningless. In addition, it's for experience. Have you noticed that there are many young disciples from the sects in our garrison army? They come to the army for experience. Experiencing life and death in the war is good for their breakthrough in cultivation and improvement of mind. Liu Dao almost couldn't hold it when he heard General Wei say that the ancient barbarians were too poor. But after thinking about it carefully, it was indeed the case. The ancient barbarian country used the lives of countless soldiers to grab resources, while Dakion was just for experience. You can imagine how big the difference between the two countries is. Suddenly, Liu Dao thought of something and asked, what if there is such a genius who is not only invincible in the same level, but can even kill the king of martial arts in the realm of the god platform? No one can stop him below the king of martial arts. If this person leads the army to kill through Yongkong prefecture, Yenzhou, and the imperial capital, what should we do? Can't the god of martial arts help? After these words came out, Kong Hao and General Wei looked at Liu Dao with a somewhat subtle look. This kid, 
Why do you always ask questions about the invasion of Dakion? If it weren't for the song Lu Dao sang before and the extermination of the ancient barbarian army, the two of them couldn't help but wonder if Lu Dao had any ideas. Lu Dao hurriedly explained, I'm just curious. After all, there should be such a genius, right? No, the difference between the god platform and the martial king is not just a simple difference of one realm, but another kind of transformation. You will know it later. Kong Hao said. Moreover, even if there is such a genius, it is impossible that the army he leads is full of such powerful beings, right? As long as the rest of his army is dealt with, he will be the only one left. One person cannot form an army, and the martial god can kill him. What's more, he will be promoted to the martial king sooner or later. If he really does that, when he becomes the martial king, there will be no place for him to survive. Besides, rules are dead, people are alive, why not send a martial god to kill him secretly, as long as he is not caught in the act? After Kong Hao finished speaking, he did not forget to wink at Lu Dao. Lu Dao was slightly stunned. Good guy, I am still too noble. As they talked, the six people came to the battlefield where hundreds of thousands of troops were frozen. Chapter 91 Ha! Huh, looking at the ice block with a radius of dozens of miles in front of them, the hundreds of thousands of troops frozen in it seemed to be still alive, and the six people couldn't help but let out a long sigh. I actually caused this. At this moment, Lu Dao was in a complicated mood. Before, he didn't think too much when he took action, just thinking that he had to reverse the unfavorable situation of Dakion, for self-protection, and to protect the disciples of the immortal sect. When he took action, he had no scruples, and used the ice beads that had been upgraded to the fifth grade upper grade without any psychological burden. Even, even if he froze hundreds of thousands of troops, he was very calm at the time, and there was no big wave of magical waves. Perhaps it was because the freezing was only for a moment, and he didn't kill them one by one, or maybe it was because there was no bloody scene when freezing, and there were no large numbers of broken limbs, so the psychological impact on him was not so strong. But now, when he stood in front of the ice block again, in front of the hundreds of thousands of frozen troops, looking at the hundreds of thousands of people who were lifelike, Lu Dao's heart was in great turmoil. Hundreds of thousands of troops are not hundreds of thousands of ants, but hundreds of thousands of lives. This reminds Lu Dao of Chi Chi An's words, that's hundreds of thousands of lives, do you want to be a butcher? Single quote dot. Do you want to be a butcher? Do you want to be a butcher? Do you want to be a butcher? Such questions, like raging waves, constantly echoed in Lu Dao's mind, torturing his soul and impacting his mind. Again and again, endlessly. Lu Dao finally understood why there were so many people in the martial arts world who wanted to go out to experience their minds and sharpen their minds. It is because those who are unstable and have weak wills are prone to go astray. Lu Dao's current situation is similar to that kind of people. He was pale and trembling all over, as if he couldn't get out of his heart. He felt as if a mountain was pressing on him, making him breathless, and a great fear spread in his mind, as if it was going to swallow him up. In a trance, Lu Dao seemed to see Wang Jinshan, Zhang Shang, Zhang Rongrong, the colorful woman, Han Chengren, Man Yutao, and other people who had died in his hands, all turned into evil spirits and rushed towards him, as if to tear him apart. He also saw that those who died in his songs in Mufeng City were full of resentment and rushed towards him ferociously, wanting to cut him into pieces. He also saw that hundreds of thousands of people who were frozen suddenly broke free from the freezing power, roared, and rushed towards him bloodthirstily, wanting to pull out his tendons and skin him. Looking around, there were densely packed enemies, and everyone's face was filled with resentment, hatred, and cruelty. That look was so clear that every face seemed to be right in front of him. Fear, terror, guilt, and other negative emotions, like a giant beast, opened its bloody mouth and bit Lu Dao, wanting to devour him completely. Lu Dao closed his eyes tightly and began to recite silently in his heart. Kill those who disturb my life. Kill those who disturb my sect. Kill those who disturb my country. I should be fearless if I kill for self-protection. I should be fearless if I kill for my sect. I should be worthy if I kill for my country. As Lu Dao recited silently again and again, it seemed as if some great power appeared, and the phantoms in his mind began to collapse and dissipate inexplicably. Yang Feng, Shen Guangxi, Zhang Rongrong, the colorful woman, Han Chengyun, Man Yutao, 
Kaizan and others seemed to be shrouded in endless light, with bursts of black smoke rising from their bodies and turning into invisible. Those rebels who died under the song seemed to hear the loyalty to the country again. They, who were originally resentful and ferocious, seemed to become the most devout believers, kneeling on the ground, mumbling, and slowly disintegrating. When the hundreds of thousands of frozen troops rushed towards Lu Dao, they were like moths to a flame, and they turned into fragments and powder just halfway. They faced Lu Dao as if they were facing a god. Everything, everything, eventually turned into nothingness and disappeared completely. Lu Dao gradually calmed down, his face became rosy again, and his body was as stable as a rock. After a hundred times, Lu Dao felt relaxed and his mind was clear. After regaining his mind, Lu Dao suddenly found that there were some things on another panel of the system, and his consciousness scanned them curiously. Heart Sutra Unnamed 10,000 over 1 Upgradable, a very superficial Heart Sutra for tempering the mind. Of course, it is better to say that it is a self-hypnosis thing rather than a Heart Sutra, and it should not be trusted. Lu Dao was stunned. Looking at the text introduction of the system, Lu Dao's original curious consciousness gradually turned into shock. The system clearly said that it should not be trusted, and even said that this Heart Sutra was very superficial and a hypnotic thing. But without upgrading the Heart Sutra, he actually expelled his inner demons, guilt, and fear after reciting it silently a hundred times. Wait, did I hypnotize myself? Lu Dao was a little confused, wondering if he was hypnotized by himself, and couldn't help but carefully sense his body and mind. Then he found out, his body was indeed very relaxed, without any pressure, and his mind was also very tough, without any guilt or fear. I'm a genius, Lu Dao was shocked, his face full of disbelief. He always thought that he was actually very ordinary, and that he could have everything he had now thanks to the system. He didn't expect that he actually had such a genius side. It really surprised him. Lu Dao asked narcissistically in his heart, System, you didn't bind me just because of my ability in this area, did you? Quote dot 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 quote. The system was silent as usual, ignoring Lu Dao's question. He he, Lu Dao smiled, not expecting the system to answer his question at all, and naturally he would not be disappointed. Lu Dao opened his eyes with a relaxed look. He saw Kong Hao, General Wei and others looking at him with complicated faces, anxious, worried, surprised, shocked. What's wrong? Lu Dao blinked. Kong Hao asked uncertainly. Did you just experience the heart demon tribulation? Yes, it was really dangerous, and I almost went crazy. Speaking of going crazy, Lu Dao still felt a little scared. His previous life was killed by anger, and going crazy is countless times more dangerous than going crazy. With his innate perfect consciousness, he was almost swallowed by the heart demon just now, but fortunately he survived. Dangerous, everyone couldn't help but twitch their lips. You exorcise the inner demon in less than two quarters of an hour. You call this dangerous? This is obviously easy, okay. The inner demon calamity is not uncommon in the martial arts world. Whenever it occurs, the person who suffers from it is almost dead. Even, outsiders can't help with the inner demon calamity at all, and can only rely on themselves to overcome it. If you can overcome it, you will live, and your martial arts heart will be raised to a higher level, but if you can't overcome it, there is only one end, that is, death. And, when overcoming the inner demon calamity, the people you have killed or the things you have done, as long as they can cause negative emotions in the person who suffers the calamity, will appear in your mind one by one, constantly impacting the mind of the person who suffers the calamity. As long as you can't hold on, these inner demons will rush up and smash the mind of the person who suffers the calamity into pieces. This process is very long, and it is a tug of war. It often takes at least several days to overcome an inner demon calamity, and the long time is even calculated in years. But what about Lu Dao? He overcame the inner demon calamity in less than two quarters of an hour. He actually still felt it was dangerous. No, it was indeed dangerous. Because Lu Dao had killed too many people, and regardless of other places, there were hundreds of thousands of people in the ice block in front of him. How could hundreds of thousands of troops transformed into demons not be dangerous? You have to know that Lu Dao was only in the innate realm. So, Lu Dao did not lie, his demon tribulation was indeed dangerous, but he just passed it so easily. This shows. Lu Dao's mind is like a demon. 
When everyone came to this conclusion, they all looked at Lu Dao in disbelief. He was just a boy under 20 years old, but he could actually pass such a dangerous demon tribulation. And he passed it so quickly. What kind of demon is this? This is more shocking than his feat of killing hundreds of thousands of troops with ice beads. Killing the enemy can rely on external objects, but passing the demon tribulation depends entirely on oneself. How did he do it? How did you do it? Did you do it by force? Kong Hao was really curious. Lu Dao was only 20 years old, but his mind was so tough. Just now, when Lu Dao fell into the inner demon tribulation, whether it was Kong Hao, General Wei, or others, they all felt worried, anxious, and even, desperate for him. Such a young genius obviously had a bright future, but he encountered the inner demon. In particular, even if they are all powerful men on the altar, they cannot be of any help. I can only watch. It would be really hard to accept if such a genius fell into the tribulation of inner demons. Several people even blamed themselves in their hearts for not telling Lu Dao about the inner demon tribulation earlier, but they never thought that the inner demon tribulation would come so quickly. Too suddenly. But the results shocked them. Lu Dao not only survived the inner demon tribulation, but he also did it so easily, as if the inner demon tribulation had no impact on him. This made several people very curious and even full of expectations. They speculated that Lu Dao might have a way to overcome the inner demons. Otherwise, how could it be so easy? Several people wanted to know how it was done and whether they could exchange it from Lu Dao. Of course, if it's a treasure, they won't think much about it, but if it's a heart sutra, secret technique, etc., then they can teach it. Lu Dao smiled and said, It's not like I was forced to do it. I got a incomplete heart sutra by chance. Heart sutra. When Kong Hao and others heard this, their eyes instantly brightened. If it is the heart sutra, then it can be taught. No matter how much it costs, they have to get it from Lu Dao. They even directly ignore the word incomplete. Although it was only incomplete, it allowed Lu Dao to survive such a powerful inner demon tribulation, which shows how powerful this Heart Sutra is. Why would everyone dislike it? Brother Lu, if you have any requests, feel free to ask. Please be sure to pass this Heart Sutra on to me. I owe you a favor. Kong Hao wrote the word, desire, on his face and looked at Lu Dao with a pleading look on his face. General Wei and others also said hurriedly, Young Master Lu, and we, if you need anything, we will help you find it. I just ask that young Master Lu can pass the Heart Sutra to us. Compared with Kong Hao, the generals guarding the army need the Heart Sutra more. They often had conflicts with the ancient barbarian armies on weekdays, and blood would be shed at every turn, and their inner demons would often become bigger. You can, but you can't pass it on to others easily. After Lu Dao pondered for a while, he decided to pass it on to everyone, but he was worried that if someone thought that he had the Heart Sutra and was not afraid of the inner demons and went to kill indiscriminately, it would be a big sin. As if aware of Lu Dao's worries, General Wei assured, Don't worry, Mr. Lu, we will never pass the Heart Sutra to those who are too murderous. Kong Hao and others also gave their assurances. Lu Dao nodded and silently brushed up the experience of the Heart Sutra to the lower level of Zong level. After upgrading the Heart Sutra, he burned it into a jade slip with his spiritual consciousness and gave it to the five people. At the same time, he said, I currently lack some skills, formations, and weapon refining materials. If you have any, you can give me some. Of course, I also need other alchemy, weapon refining, puppetry, beast control, etc. Quote. With the system in place, how can it not develop in an all-round way? There are, there are, there are many. The five people hurriedly picked out a lot of things from their storage rings, sorted them into categories, and handed them to Lu Dao. Lu Dao took the five rings and looked at the various materials, books, etc. piled up like a hill inside, feeling satisfied for a while. A piece of Heart Sutra that I randomly made can actually be exchanged for so many good things. The materials to build the Immortal Sect were available instantly. Not only that, but what about the hundreds of thousands of storage bags in front of you? These are all his trophies. Xiao Bing, take it. Lu Dao controlled the ice beads and instantly melted ice blocks dozens of miles away. Crash. In an instant, hundreds of thousands of people, including the demonic elephants, monster beasts, etc., all fell to the ground without any breath. 
Even those low-level soldiers were like porcelain, breaking into a lot of pieces instantly when they fell to the ground, and their clothes were also smashed into powder. Because he had survived the inner demon tribulation, Lu Dao's expression was calm and unchanged when he saw such a scene. On the other hand, Kong Hao, General Wei and others had complicated expressions. Among them are not only the ancient barbarian army, but also more than 100,000 traitors who once belonged to them. It's a shame there are so many storage bags. Lu Dao looked at the storage bags on the ground. Almost half of them were broken due to the strong freezing force. The contents inside also turned into nothingness as the storage bags burst. Lu Dao secretly thought it was a pity. Then Lu Dao became sad. There are at least two to three hundred thousand intact storage bags and thousands of storage rings. If he and the disciples of the immortal sect wanted to sort them out, how much time would be wasted? General Wei, I need to ask you a favor. After thinking about it, Lu Dao said to General Wei, can you ask the soldiers in the army to help me sort out the contents of these storage bags? The gold, silver, elixirs, medicinal materials, and weapons and other resources inside should be regarded as rewards, what do you think? Thank you, Mr. Liu, for the gift. I'll find someone to sort it out for you right away. General Wei happily agreed and immediately sent someone over to sort it out. These more than 200,000 storage bags and thousands of storage rings are all of relatively good quality, and basically belong to those who are good at refining internal organs and are innately powerful. There must be a lot of cultivation resources such as gold, silver, elixirs, and medicinal materials. With so many resources available just by sorting them out, General Wei naturally thanked Lu Dao for the many soldiers. During the conversation, General Wei and others were covered by their consciousness and put away all the storage bags, storage rings, and scattered weapons. I've met Master Kong. I've met General Wei. I've met Mr. Liu. At this time, many strong men on the other side of the ice also rushed over and saluted the three of them. Invisibly, Liu Dao's status seemed to be equal to the other two, or even higher than the other two. Everyone looked at Liu Dao with complex expressions such as awe, gratitude, and admiration. In, especially shopkeeper Feng. During this period, Lu Dao's shocks to him were getting bigger and bigger each time. Advanced chopsticks, self-created exercises, marrow refining realm, etc. They all shocked him. What shocked him the most was the song sung by Lu Dao and the ice bead. Especially ice beads. When Lu Dao took out the ice beads, he instantly recognized that the ice beads were exactly the same as the refrigeration ice beads in his inn, but their power was vastly different. He vaguely guessed that the ice beads in Lu Dao's hand were probably made by Lu Dao by imitating the ice beads for refrigeration in the inn, but he was a little unsure. Because Lu Dao just bought a few boxes from him, and subsequently ordered an ice bead to use every day. He really wanted to ask Lu Dao, but he knew that this secret was too big and he didn't dare to ask, so he could only keep it in his heart. Even after that, he couldn't ask. After all, just one ice bead can change the entire battlefield, and its importance is self-evident. If Lu Dao could make it himself, shopkeeper Feng knew very well what it would mean to Da Qian. But similarly, once the enemy country knows, Lu Dao will be very dangerous. In fact, Kong Hao, General Wei and others also knew this very well. Although they were all very curious about the origin of the ice beads, they held back and did not ask because they did not have the opportunity. Now is the time, Lu Dao, regarding the origin of the ice beads, you can just make up an excuse and spread it through everyone's mouth. Kong Hao secretly used his soul to transmit messages to Lu Dao, and then asked curiously, Brother Lu, your ice beads seem to be very similar to the refrigeration ice beads of Tianyin Inn. Where did you get them? The grade has actually reached 5. Top grade. While speaking. Kong Hao also curiously took the ice bead from Lu Dao's hand and studied it in his hand. Lu Dao said half truthfully, I also got it from Han Chengren's storage bag not long ago. What do you say about this thing? It's a bit strange. It seems that it is useless for others to hold it. Only I can use it. Anyway, the Han family was well known in Mufeng City for robbing families and pushing the ice beads onto Han Chengren. There was no proof and no way to investigate. Real or fake? Kong Hao asked curiously, but secretly he said anxiously, Brother Liu, don't act too badly. This is a major matter about how the enemy country will target you. Don't act like you can't make things right. 
Lu Dao shrugged and said, Brother, you can try it. Kong Hao glanced at Lu Dao doubtfully. When he was studying just now, he put a little bit of vitality into the ice bead, but there was no reaction. He thought it was because the ice bead did not have the consent of its owner, Lu Dao, so it did not emit any freezing power. Now that Lu Dao said this, Kong Hao naturally believed him and directly input a little more vitality. The result was, no response. After the energy was input into the ice bead, no matter how hard he tried, the ice bead did not move at all. Hey, it's strange. I, a powerful person in the late stages of the divine stage, can't actually use a fifth level ice bead. Kong Hao didn't believe in evil and continued to input vitality crazily, but it still didn't work, how could this happen? Lu Dao smiled and said, it's a treasure, and the virtuous will live in it. Apologize secretly. The corners of Kong Hao's mouth twitched, feeling that the boy was scolding him. He threw the ice beads to General Wei and said, General Wei, come and try. Good. General Wei initially suspected that Kong Hao and Lu Dao were singing a double act and acting for everyone. He is also ready to continue acting. However, when he input his energy and found that he really couldn't use the ice beads, he was shocked. Why is this happening? It's obviously only a fifth level thing but I've already reached the stage of perfection, why can't I use it? Do you authorize Kong Hao to use ice beads? Weather. Do you authorize Wei Sheng to use ice beads? Weather. Looking at the authorization request on another panel of the system, Lu Dao smiled and said nothing. When Kong Hao sent a message earlier and asked him to make up an excuse, Lu Dao was just thinking about how to make it up when suddenly an authorization request popped up in the system. He took a closer look and saw that it was Kong Hao who was using the ice beads. This surprised Lu Dao. Learning his self-created techniques requires authorization, and he is already very satisfied. He did not expect that when the item is upgraded to the fifth level and generates spiritual intelligence, others who want to use it will also need his authorization and consent. This is really a huge surprise. In this way, no matter how many items he creates, no matter how powerful the items are, he does not need to worry about falling into the hands of the enemy. As long as it is not authorized by him, even if it is a divine weapon, the enemy cannot use it. Just perfect. Kong Hao and Wei Sheng studied the ice beads over and over again, but couldn't find a way to use them. At this time, a voice of suggestion suddenly came from the crowd, is it because you have recognized your master? You can try to unlock the blood soul mark. As soon as he said this, many powerful men couldn't help but look at him. The man was startled and shrank his neck, what's wrong? I was just making a suggestion. This person was a little scared and confused. He was just giving a suggestion, but it seemed like he had made a huge mistake. He was so frightened that his body was shaking. Kong Hao gave this person a stern look, then turned to look at Lu Dao. When he was about to say something, Lu Dao directly removed the blood soul mark on Xiao Bing's body and signaled Kong Hao to continue. Kong Hao was stunned for a moment, and realized it instantly. The next moment, Kong Hao poured all the thick energy from the seventh floor of the altar into the ice beads, hoping to use the ice beads. The result was just as he thought, it was still useless. The ice beads lay quietly in his hands, motionless. How about trying it with your soul? Someone else started to come up with ideas. Kong Hao was ready to try and directly cover the ice bead with his powerful soul, hoping to force the spirit of the ice bead to use its freezing power. Click. However, a crisp sound rang out, and a faint gray shadow was seen inside the ice bead, which was about to crack. Kong Hao decisively stopped and used his soul to appease the ice bead spirit and treat its injuries. No, I really can't use these ice beads. While speaking, he threw the ice beads to General Wei Sheng again. Wei Sheng naturally couldn't use it either. He even gave the ice beads to other altars to try. After some attempts, it was finally confirmed that only Lu Dao could use this ice bead. The ice bead returned to Lu Dao's hands. Lu Dao did not even need to shed blood to identify its owner, but directly used its freezing power. In the next moment, the surrounding temperature dropped suddenly. Ice beads. 7.21 million 1000 cannot be upgraded, 5th level high grade ice beads, born with spiritual wisdom, can freely control the power of freezing, the strongest freezing power can instantly freeze the master and perfect expert to death, the larger the freezing range, the weaker the effect, the greater the consumption. 
This is the power of upgrading to a fifth level high grade ice bead. It no longer needs an insulated box to resist the force of freezing, it can freely control its own power. The lethality is even more terrifying, with just a fifth level top grade weapon capable of instantly killing Grandmaster Perfection. It is equivalent to killing enemies across a large realm. Seeing how easily Liu Dao used the freezing power of the ice beads that Kong Hao could not release despite all his efforts, everyone couldn't help but look shocked, curious, and puzzled. This scene is so strange. It stands to reason that ice beads are only fifth level high grade, a type of spiritual object, and can be used by anyone. However, Kong Hao on the seventh floor of the altar and Wei Sheng on the perfect altar cannot use it. It can only be used by Lu Dao, a monk in the early stage of Shantian. It is really weird. There was nothing Lu Dao could do. If you want a lie to come true, you cannot let others find the flaws in the lie and decipher the lie. He could have said that the ice beads were obtained somewhere or given to him by a mysterious old man, but the flaw was too big and could be easily seen through. He can only tell a lie without any proof. After pushing the ice beads onto Han Chengren and causing the Han family to rob their homes, everyone in Mufeng City knew that it was understandable that their Han family would get some weird things. As for why Lu Dao was able to kill Han Chengren who had the ice beads, Lu Dao also gave a perfect explanation, the ice beads can only be used by Lu Dao. This way, the effect of the ice beads and the threat to the enemy country were relatively reduced by 99%. Even if Lu Dao has many such ice beads, he can only use them alone, and they can only be used on one battlefield. Naturally, other enemy countries don't need to worry about Lu Dao. After solving the problem of ice beads on Lu Dao's body, both Kong Hao and General Wei Sheng breathed a sigh of relief. As long as tonight's news reaches the ancient barbarian kingdom, the ancient barbarian kingdom's actions against Lu Dao will be much reduced and the intensity will not be that great. Kong Hao's consciousness scanned that General Wei's men were about to arrive, and he directly ordered, City Lord Shen, take the people back to Mufeng City first to appease the people in the city. Yes, palace master, my subordinates will retire first. An old master in his sixties bowed down and took the order, leading the people from Mufeng City and the sect disciples back to Mufeng City. After a while, a group of Shantian and Grandmaster soldiers arrived, and Wei Sheng directly handed over the collected storage bags and storage rings to them for sorting. General Wei, is there much consolation money for the fallen soldiers? Lu Dao thought of those innate soldiers who were killed by self-explosion because of protecting him. Although without Lu Dao, those people would most likely have died in the end, but it didn't happen after all. Lu Dao only knew that those innates were killed because they wanted to protect him. He wished he could do something for their family. Don't ask for anything else, but peace of mind. General Wei glanced at Lu Dao with some surprise, already guessing in his mind, and replied, Young Master Lu, don't worry, the solace money for the innate realm is very high, enough for their wives and children to practice. Lu Dao nodded and asked, General, please send someone to send them more training resources for me, but don't mention me. Lu Dao planned to give a small part of the loot to the wives and children of the soldiers, hoping that they could go further in the martial arts. Okay, I would like to thank young master Lu on their behalf. General Wei looked at Lu Dao with a look that, in addition to respect, had a touch of gentleness. In the martial arts world, few people care about the wives and children of fallen soldiers. Even if the government comforts Jin Yifa, few people come to express their condolences afterwards. General Wei was a little surprised that Lu Dao could think of them, and he also appreciated it even more. Kong Hao looked sideways at Lu Dao and said, Brother Lu, your way of doing things is too sophisticated. If you weren't so mellow and flawless, I would have suspected that you were some old monster seizing the body. Lu Dao smiled slightly. It's not that he is experienced in dealing with things, but after all, these things happened to him, so he would naturally think more. If it happened to other people, of course he would not think about it. Putting himself in his shoes, Lu Dao wouldn't want to befriend that kind of person who is selfish and doesn't remember any kindness. Young Master Lu, since you have just established a sect, you must recruit disciples. Why not recruit those children into the immortal sect? A powerful man from the Shantai asked curiously. Lu Dao sighed. No matter what, their father died protecting me after all. When they face me, they will always have a knot in their hearts. I don't want to be enemies with my sect disciples in the future. 
Although Lu Dao has a system that can detect loyalty, once he expels a disciple who has a grudge against him, this group of people will probably have strange thoughts towards him. Rather, why bother asking for trouble? Hearing this, General Wei Sheng opened his mouth, wanting to say something, but finally sighed silently and remained silent. Young Master Lu, your sect is looking for a disciple. I have a son who has just turned ten. I wonder if he can join your sect. Lu Dao and the others were chatting and did not carry other soldiers who were packing their storage bags. An innate soldier who had defended Lu Dao from dead soldiers and had one of his legs blown off asked this question. The end. This person also added. Don't worry, Mr. Lu, my legs can grow. You don't have to worry. That little brat of mine will definitely not have any complaints against you. If he dares to disobey, I will break his legs. But, E.H. When Lu Dao heard this, his heart moved slightly, and he was ready to agree, but suddenly he realized that something was wrong. If Mr. Lu is in trouble, forget it. My kid is quite naughty, so I won't cause any trouble to Mr. Lu. Seeing Lu Dao hesitate and look a little embarrassed. The expectant expression on the face of the innate soldier froze slightly, and he forced an awkward smile to give Lu Dao a step down without offending Lu Dao. But he couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. Hearing that Lu Dao treated the fallen soldiers' wives and children so kindly, he was looking forward to it, hoping to send his son to Lu Dao's sect so that he could receive guidance from a genius like Lu Dao. As a result, Lu Dao seemed to be in trouble. You misunderstood. I am indeed in a bit of trouble, but it is not directed at you. Lu Dao waved his hands and said with some distress, My immortal sect really wants to recruit disciples, and anyone can be recruited. But just now, because of the worries in my heart, I chose not to accept the children of those fallen soldiers into the sect, but to give them resources, if we accept you and your children now. As he spoke, Lu Dao pointed to the other Shantian soldiers who had been looking forward to it but now fell silent, and continued, This always feels wrong, as if those fallen soldiers paid the price of their lives for me, but I refused. Instead of recruiting their children into the immortal sect, of course, I don't mean anything else. It's not that you don't pay enough. It's just that in comparison, it seems unfair to them. Can you understand? I understand, what you said, Mr. Lu, makes sense. It does seem a bit unfair. When Lu Dao said this, everyone else couldn't help but nod in agreement. In comparison, it was indeed too biased towards them. Before they could think about it, Lu Dao let out a long sigh and said, But if I don't accept your children, but instead accept those children who have nothing to do with me into the sect, it seems to be unfair to you, alas. Quote. Thinking about this, Lu Dao felt numb. He understands the so-called favor accidents. No wonder many companies in China cannot get rid of relatives and friends inserting people into the company. It is too difficult to treat everyone equally. As soon as Lu Dao said this, the group of innates who originally agreed with him suddenly looked at each other. The expression on his face was extremely exciting, and he didn't know what to say. Ha ha ha, Brother Lu, your troubles are really unnecessary. At this time, Kong Hao laughed, patted Lu Dao on the shoulder, and asked the confused Lu Dao, Brother, let me ask you, how many innate and above strong men do you have in your immortal sect? Lu Dao said, It's just me. Isn't this enough? Kong Hao spread his hands and said, Then what are you still worried about? Look. Everyone else also reacted at this time, with a hint of bitterness and a look of joy on their faces. Lu Dao was a little confused, feeling that everyone was awake and I was the only one drunk. Seeing that Lu Dao still seemed to be unresponsive, Kong Hao said directly, Brother, whether you are a disciple or a disciple of the holy sect, it is not that simple. If you put all their children into the immortal sect, there will be hundreds of people. Your immortal sect only has one innate, how will you teach them? You can't spend all your time teaching them to practice, right? You don't practice yourself. Besides, even if you spend all your time teaching them, and each disciple gives you one day of guidance, taking turns, it will take more than three months for each disciple to get one day of your guidance. Do you know what this means? Kong Hao pointed at the innate soldiers and said, These soldiers are all in the innate realm. They go home several times every year for vacation. It is better for them to go home and give guidance themselves. So, instead of doing this, it is better to let those children practice at home. You can recruit a few first, and then recruit more when your sect has more innate experts. 
The development of the sect needs to be done step by step. How can we eat a big fat man in one bite? As for the children of those fallen soldiers, some of them have actually joined other sects. With the resources you have given them, they will surely have a good future. Don't think too much. In other words, you don't recruit them into the immortal sect because it's for their own good. Kong Hao finally concluded these words. Hey, Kong Hao, are you looking down on my immortal sect? Looking down on me, Lu. Lu Dao wanted to retort when he heard this. But I have to say that what Kong Hao said was indeed correct, but it was a pity that it was only for other people. For Lu Dao, who has the heavenly eye and can directly teach the proficiency of the technique, it doesn't work. He taught his disciples and disciples of the Pope not to be too simple. Once the technique is passed on, there is no need to worry about it. For example, Wu Ming, Lu Dao just taught him the skills every time the heavenly eyes taught him, and now, in just more than 10 days, he has already reached the state of internal refining. No one would dare to believe this. Although Kong Hao was right, Lu Dao still planned to give others a chance. After all, he knew the potential of his immortal sect and his own abilities, and he really needed to recruit disciples. The more disciples, the better, and the faster you gain experience. Brother is right, but I still have a way of teaching my disciples, and the results are pretty good. Lu Dao coughed, looked at everyone and said, if you are willing, you can still send your children to my immortal sect. The opportunity has been given to them, and it is up to them whether they can seize it or not. That's no exaggeration. Lu Dao is the biggest opportunity in their lives. Whether they can seize it or not depends on their choice. It was just that Lu Dao finished speaking, but no one responded. Seeing this, the congenital man with a broken leg still forced a smile on his face and said, if you are willing, then I will trouble young Master Lu. I will send my child to the immortal sect tomorrow. I don't know if the smile he forced out was the embarrassment from before, or the helplessness he felt now that he had sent the child into the fire pit to save Lu Dao's face. In short, it should be as awkward as possible. At the end, he did not forget to ask, young Master Lu, if I want to see my child during the holidays, can I go to the immortal sect? He said he was looking at the child, but actually he wanted to guide him in his practice. As long as Lu Dao agrees, then his children will join the immortal sect, even if there is no one to guide them, there won't be much delay. Lu Dao nodded silently, okay. Upon hearing Lu Dao's agreement, the man breathed a sigh of relief. Then several more Shantian soldiers also spoke out, wanting their children to join the immortal sect. Compared to the expectations of dozens of people before, these few people, were too few. Lu Dao agreed, with a little regret on his face. Seeing this, General Wei Sheng was moved in his heart and said, Young Master Lu, if you really want to recruit more disciples, you can consider recruiting the children of fallen soldiers into the immortal sect. Without waiting for the confused Lu Dao to speak, General Wei continued, I know what you are worried about. In fact, you don't have to be so worried. You have to understand what kind of comrades can make people willing to die for them on the battlefield. You are such a comrade. Those soldiers who died to protect you understand, their families understand, and their children also understand, so you don't have to worry that they will resent you in their hearts, because they won't. You, can trust them. General Wei wanted to say something for those children before, but it would inevitably cause Lu Dao to lose face, which was a bit inappropriate. Now there was an opportunity for him to finish what he wanted to say in one breath. Lu Dao looked at General Wei blankly. Hearing these words, he had many thoughts. He had never been a soldier and did not quite understand the emotion and trust in the army. He found that he was indeed a little too worried. I see. Lu Dao smiled and said, Then please, General Wei, please send those children to my immortal sect. I will train them well. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lu, for your help. General Wei was grateful that he could find a way out for those little guys he had never met before, and he was very happy in his heart. Although Kong Hao said that Lu Dao may not have much time to teach those children, Lu Dao has high talent after all, and the immortal sect will definitely rise in the future. Even if these children don't achieve much in the future, it's enough if they can join Lu Dao or the immortal sect. Of course, General Wei didn't want to cause trouble for Lu Dao, so he added, don't worry, Mr. Lu, I will have someone screen you for you. If you have a bad character, you will have no chance of joining the immortal sect. Okay, I'd like to trouble General Wei. 
Liu Dao was very satisfied. If your character is not good, then use the resources to practice on your own. If your character is good, join the immortal sect. This result is quite good. General, it's all sorted. An hour later, many innate and divine masters sorted out more than 200,000 storage bags and thousands of storage rings. Everything sorted out was put into different storage rings and handed over to General Wei. General Wei handed it to Lu Dao, Mr. Lu, thank you. At this moment, General Wei was not as serious as before, and his words had a little more flavor of an ordinary cultivator. He thanked Lu Dao for all the soldiers. General Wei, you don't have to be so polite. Lu Dao smiled, took a lot of storage rings, then took out a bunch of Yuan Shi and packed them, and handed them to Wei Shang, General Wei, I'll trouble you with the child's matter. Okay, Mr. Lu, don't worry. General Wei said, Kong Hao suddenly reminded, three days, Lu Dao can stay in New Feng City for a maximum of three days. After three days, we will set off for Yong Kong Prefecture together. You should hurry up and send the child to the immortal sect. We will not wait for you later. Now there is a large group of powerful people in New Feng City, so there is no need to worry too much about the assassination of the ancient barbarian country. But after all, it is not as safe as Yong Kong Prefecture, so Kong Hao is not only reminding others to hurry up, but also reminding Lu Dao to use these three days to deal with the affairs of Mu Feng City. General Wei and others nodded silently when they heard this. Some people even hurriedly asked General Wei for leave to go home to pick up their children. General Wei naturally agreed, and at the same time arranged dozens of innate strongmen to rush to different directions to select disciples for Lu Dao. At this time, it was already early morning. The matter here was over, and Lu Dao did not stay for long. Goodbye, everyone. After Lu Dao and General Wei left a trace of spiritual consciousness mark on each other with the communication beads, they said goodbye to everyone. Fly to Mu Feng City with Kong Hao and others. Goodbye, young Master Lu. Goodbye, Master Kong. Looking at Lu Dao's departing back, someone in the crowd suddenly said, For some reason, I suddenly have a premonition. What premonition? The man said, I feel as if I have missed some opportunity, not me, but my child. Didn't join the immortal sect. The man said, that should be the case, but looking at young Master Lu, it seems that he still wants to recruit disciples. Can he really teach them? He was a little skeptical. Why think so much? Anyway, you have already decided not to let your child join the immortal sect. Are you going to send your child there now? That's true. Although he said so, that premonition has been lingering in his heart. Okay, collect the bodies. Next, the garrison army collected all the bodies on the battlefield and cremated them together. Instantly, flames shot up to the sky. No, Brother Lu, why do you always look at me with that expression? On the other side, on the way to Mu Feng City, Kong Hao found that Lu Dao always looked at him with a strange expression, which made him feel a little awkward. What's my expression? Lu Dao was curious. Kong Hao thought for a while and said, it seems that he is looking forward to my being slapped in the face, and he also feels a little gloating. Really, so obvious, Lu Dao laughed. Lu Dao suddenly had a funny mentality at this time. He was thinking that in the near future, those who gave up letting their children join the immortal sect because of Kong Hao's words would find that the immortal sect had developed into a behemoth in a short time. Will those innate soldiers curse Kong Hao every day, or even stab him with villains? It's interesting to think about it. Lu Dao put away his smile and suddenly said, Brother, after the disaster in Mu Feng City, there must be many orphans in the city. If possible, I hope to take them into the immortal sect. Please help me talk to City Lord Shen. Now, the materials for building the immortal sect are available, and the resources are sufficient. Lu Dao is ready to develop the immortal sect in a big way. The first thing is to recruit enough disciples from the sect. At present, there are only more than 10 disciples in the immortal sect. Even if you add the ones sent by General Wei and others, there are less than a hundred people, which is far from enough. He needs more disciples from the sect to help him gain experience. Especially the experience of the skills. Kong Hao was stunned and sighed, Brother, you didn't listen to what I said just now. Don't worry, I know. Lu Dao smiled and said, even if I really can't teach, at least I have enough resources and I can help them improve their cultivation. Hearing Lu Dao say this, Kong Hao felt that he was really confident. 
Kong Hao couldn't help but ask with some curiosity. Lu Dao, tell me something, you have taught disciples of the sect before. How was the effect? Lu Dao pondered for a moment. Since Kong Hao wanted to protect him and would go to Yang Kong Prefecture with the Immortal Sect, Kong Hao would definitely see the specific situation of the Immortal Sect. For example, the cultivation and qualifications of the disciples of the Immortal Sect. So, Lu Dao thought about it and said directly, I taught a child some time ago, he was over nine years old, and now he is in the realm of refining organs. Ahem, Kong Hao coughed violently, the saliva of this godly stage realm was simply terrifying. Kong Hao was surprised and said, Nine-year-old refining organs. Did you teach him? Yes, but his qualifications are okay, the lower extreme. Lu Dao's expression was full of complacency. Kong Hao said speechlessly, Is it possible that he practiced by himself, and it has nothing to do with whether you teach or not? Lu Dao smiled and said, I also raised his qualifications. Lu Dao was helpless. Kong Hao was in the late stage of the god stage. He could tell the aptitude of the immortal sect with just one glance. He also knew that he couldn't reach the full level, so he simply took the initiative to propose it. The main reason was that the riot launched by the ancient barbarian country was too sudden. Otherwise, if he was given a year to practice, he would be sure to improve his cultivation to the god stage, or even the martial king. By then, even if the immortal sect was exposed, it would not matter. Of course, it doesn't matter if it is exposed now. Did you help him improve his aptitude? Kong Hao was stunned and asked, Do you have the transcendent grass? Transcendent pill? No, it's the dust removing pill, which is made with the dust removing grass. Lu Dao shook his head. Kong Hao continued to be stunned, it's impossible. The dust removing pill can improve the aptitude to the best. What dust removing pill is that? Lu Dao said, Sixth level dust removing pill. You didn't get the best dust removing grass, did you? Lu Dao nodded in agreement. So you also used the dust removing pill to practice in the marrow refining realm. Lu Dao nodded again. Sure enough, his realm could not be hidden from these powerful masters. What a waste, such a waste, that is the best dust removing grass, my god, how many geniuses can it create? Kong Hao wailed, and he didn't look like the master of a mansion. Lu Dao looked at Kong Hao silently and said, if I hadn't advanced from marrow refining to innate, I'm afraid I wouldn't win this battle. That makes sense, it's used well, it should be used, it's not a waste at all. Kong Hao's attitude suddenly changed 180 degrees, and he agreed with Lu Dao's use of dust removing pills to improve his cultivation. But soon he hurriedly asked, do you still have dust removing grass? Have you used the roots? No, it's all used up. Lu Dao shook his head and said puzzledly, why can the roots of dust removing grass only be cultivated twice? Can't continue to cultivate for the third time. Hearing Lu Dao's question, Kong Hao knew that there was indeed no more. Kong Hao shook his head in disappointment, and then replied, I don't know. The spiritual herbs, precious medicines, and divine medicines in this world are all like this. They can be cultivated twice at most, and three times with the main body. It may be the rule of the world. Things can't happen more than three times. But it shouldn't be used here, right? Lu Dao couldn't understand. He didn't even know the fur of this world. After explaining, Kong Hao asked again, Where did you get the dust removing grass? The top grade dust removing grass has not appeared for many years. Even the god platform will fight for this thing. I got it from the Axe Gang in Daifeng Town, but I didn't know that the dust removing grass was so precious at the time, so I didn't ask and directly destroyed the Axe Gang. Speaking of this, Lu Dao was really a little confused. The Axe Gang was able to get the dust removing grass, even though it was only of low quality, which surprised Lu Dao. Ignoring Kong Hao's regretful expression, Lu Dao asked, Is low grade dust removing grass common? Do you have any, brother? Dust removing grass is not cabbage, how can it be common? I don't have it now. Kong Hao said, Some time ago, a low grade dust removing grass appeared in Yang Kong Prefecture, but I don't know who got it. Kong Hao didn't think much about it. Since Lu Dao got the best grade dust removing grass, it must have nothing to do with the low grade one. No, now, that means it was there before. Lu Dao's eyes lit up and he asked hurriedly, Where can I get dust removing grass? There is a secret realm in our Yang Kong prefecture, and there is dust removing grass in it, but it is very rare. 
Often, it is good to get three or five plants when the secret realm is opened, and they are all low grade. Kong Hao introduced, that secret realm is called the Divine Platform Secret Realm. It opens once every 10 years. The quota to enter the secret realm is very precious. Only some major forces have it. There are only 10 quotas in my Yang Kong Prefecture. Divine Platform Secret Realm. This name is a bit strange, and it seems to be related to the Divine Platform Realm. Lu Dao asked, when will the Divine Platform Secret Realm be open next time? Can you give me a few places, brother? The next time the Divine Platform Secret Realm opens will be in three days. Kong Hao's expression was a little subtle. Lu Dao was stunned, and then realized, so, the riot launched by Qi Qian and others is actually related to the Divine Platform Secret Realm. Yes, the main purpose of their riot and occupation of Yang Kong Prefecture may be to try to open the Divine Platform Secret Realm. Kong Hao nodded, then shook his head and said, Unfortunately, the Divine Platform Secret Realm is not opened by us actively, but it opens automatically, and each time it opens is ten years apart. Kong Hao was actually a little confused. Logically speaking, Shan Yu has been lurking in Dakion for so many years, he should know this, why does he still do this? Unless he has a way to open the Divine Platform Secret Realm. But, even Dakion Kingdom has not found a way to actively open the Divine Platform Secret Realm for so many years, how can he, a mere ancient barbarian martial king, find it? Besides the dust-removing grass, what else is there in the Divine Platform Secret Realm? Lu Dao was a little curious. If it was just the dust-removing grass, and there were only three or five plants each time, it would not be worth the ancient barbarian country sacrificing so many soldiers. The main benefits of the Divine Platform Secret Realm are two points. The first is naturally the dust-removing grass. Kong Hao introduced. The second is the Divine Platform. You should know what the Divine Platform is. It is a divine platform that we cultivators build in our minds to temper our souls. In the Divine Platform Secret Realm, there is a similar divine platform, but its function is not to temper the soul, but to greatly increase people's understanding. Improve understanding. Lu Dao's eyes lit up. This secret realm is really magical. There are both dust-removing grass that can improve qualifications and divine platforms that can improve understanding. It is completely a secret realm for cultivating geniuses. I was wrong. It is not to improve understanding. Kong Hao shook his head and said. To be precise, it is not to improve understanding for a long time, but when the cultivator stands on the divine platform, it can increase the speed of the cultivator's understanding of the skills. The specific situation varies from person to person. That's all. Lu Dao was a little disappointed. Seeing this, Kong Hao couldn't help but roll his eyes and said speechlessly, you think everyone is like you, with such an exaggerated understanding. Of course, the divine platform is useless to you, but for the genius disciples of my Dakion, how terrifying its attraction is, you can't imagine it. For example, there are many geniuses in my Dakion whose qualifications have reached good and excellent grades, but their understanding is slightly worse, so the upper limit will not be very high. But with this divine platform, they can comprehend the cultivation method on the divine platform, which makes up for their shortcomings. After that, their cultivation path will be unimpeded and they will reach the realm of king of martial arts. I am one of these people. I have also entered the Divine Platform Secret Realm and comprehended the main earth level upper grade exercises to the point of great success and perfection. Only in just 20 years did I practice from the innate perfection to the late stage of the Divine Platform. If I hadn't entered the Divine Platform Secret Realm, I'm afraid I would still be hovering in the Grand Master Realm. According to what Kong Hao said, Entering the secret realm of the divine platform can be said to be an opportunity to change many geniuses. Every time it is opened, countless people flock to it. This shows how attractive it is to those geniuses with high qualifications and poor comprehension. According to Kong Hao, there are also cultivation restrictions for entering the secret realm of the divine platform. Only low-level martial artists or innate realms can enter. Of course, if the strength of low-level martial artists is too poor, entering is basically seeking death. Because there are countless fierce beasts in the secret realm, and the position after entering the secret realm is random, not everyone is together. Therefore, every time the secret realm of the divine platform is opened, no low-level martial artists enter it, all of them are in the innate realm. Most of them are in the innate perfection. These people have good qualifications themselves. 
Before entering the secret realm, they remember the main cultivation methods of the Grand Master and Divine Platform realms. After ascending to the Divine Platform to comprehend the methods, it is equivalent to saving decades or hundreds of years of time to comprehend the methods. After that, you can continue to practice from the innate realm to the peak of the Divine Platform as a matter of course, and break through to become a martial king. Even, some cultivators with great ambitions and from powerful forces even comprehend the heavenly level skills directly on the God Platform. Even if they can only comprehend a little, it can contribute to their future martial arts. It is conceivable how important the God Platform Secret Realm is. It is no exaggeration to say that the God Platform Secret Realm, with just one God Platform, has created countless high-level cultivators for Dachyon. Not to mention the dust-removing grass. How dangerous is the God Platform Secret Realm? Will it be dangerous for someone with my strength to enter? Lu Dao was a little tempted, mainly for the dust-removing grass. Your current strength is basically invincible under the God Platform, how could there be danger? Kong Hao's mouth twitched. Lu Dao's talent and combat power are too exaggerated. He comprehended the Earth-level upper grade skills to perfection in less than half an hour, and he comprehended at least two skills at the same time. He had never heard of such comprehension. Therefore, Lu Dao was able to shoot and kill a strong man in the early stage of the god platform with only the initial stage of the innate. Of course, one of the two gods killed indirectly by Lu Dao was injured, and the other was just defending without attacking. But even so, it was enough to shock people. It's good that there is no danger. Lu Dao smiled and said, Brother Kong, let's not talk about anything else. With our relationship, it shouldn't be a problem for me to get three or five places, right? Don't even think about it. Kong Hao refused directly without expression, and then asked curiously, You are the only innate in your immortal sect, you can just go in, why do you need so many places? I mainly want to bring a few disciples in. Lu Dao thought very simply. With his ability, the immortal sect will definitely dominate the universe. In this case, the immortal sect can't have only him as a strong man to support the facade, right? He decided to at least bring Wu Ming and He Yuan Shuang into the Divine Platform Secret Realm, so that the two can break through the Marrow Refining Realm as soon as possible. Needless to say, Wu Ming is originally a top-grade talent. He only needs to comprehend a lower-grade Earth-level body refining technique to perfection, and he can basically break through the Marrow Refining Realm. As for He Yuan Shuang, as Lu Dao's future wife, although the two have not yet confirmed their relationship, Lu Dao feels that He Yuan Shuang should not object. Her family should also agree. Since she is his wife, her talent, cultivation, combat power, etc., naturally cannot be worse than others. Kong Hao frowned and said, Don't you know that after entering the secret realm, the appearance is random? Aren't you afraid that the immortal sect disciples will have accidents? I have my own way to ensure their safety. If it was before, Lu Dao would naturally not have such an idea. Now, with the puppet technique, Lu Dao can refine puppets and upgrade them to the fifth level of perfection, which is more than enough to protect the two. One is not enough, so ten. Suddenly Lu Dao said with some concern, Can I bring puppets into the Divine Platform Secret Realm? If I can't bring them, then his idea will naturally not hold true. Of course, the impact is not great. When he comes out of the secret realm and the sky eye can teach the perfect lower grade earth level exercises, the two can also break through to the marrow refining realm. But Lu Dao doesn't know how much time it will take in that case. He still hopes that the two will not fall behind him too much. Lu Dao is really worried about the development of the immortal sect. You can bring them. Puppet does not count as a quota, but monsters cannot. Kong Hao nodded and understood Lu Dao's plan. It must be said that with Lu Dao's comprehension, learning puppetry is not difficult at all. After getting a positive answer, Lu Dao breathed a sigh of relief and said with a smile, Then Brother Kong, please give me three places. This shouldn't be too much, right? No, one at most. Don't, Brother Kong, with our relationship, is it only worth one place? We have only known each other for less than half a day. Although it's only been half a day, the relationship is in place. If it were me, let alone three, even if it was ten, what would happen if I gave them all to you? Quote dot dot dot, I am stingy, brother, okay. There is only one, don't even think about more. I sang for Dachyon and shed blood. Quote dot dot dot, no, 
Why are you mentioning this? I quelled the riot in New Fung City. You are cheating. I turned the tide and reversed the defeat of the defending army. Wait, I saved tens of millions of people in Yong Kong Prefecture. Stop. Okay, stop talking, I'll give it to you, I'll give you three places. Lu Dao finally showed a satisfied smile, wouldn't it be better if you did this earlier? You have to waste my breath. Kong Hao smiled helplessly. Lu Dao, let me remind you first. These three quotas are not my personal ones. They belong to Yong Kong Mansion and Dagon. I must report the ownership of these three quotas. Kong Hao suddenly became serious and said, So, the senior officials of Dakion will definitely know about this. They may use these three places as an exchange for your achievements in this battle, or as a reward. You have to be mentally prepared. Quote. Lu Dao was speechless when he heard this. But when I think about it carefully, I feel relieved. It is said that there are three places, but it can actually be regarded as three martial kings. To be precise, it should be three reserve martial kings. This reward is actually not bad. In particular, if he could get even one more dust removing grass, he would be able to create a group of geniuses. So in general, Lu Dao definitely deserves it. But Lu Dao still wanted to ask for more, so he asked directly, I have saved tens of millions of people, and my military achievements are so great, can I only change three places? Can't I change some more divine weapons, divine formations, or heaven level skills? Quote dot 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 quote. Kong Hao stared at Lu Dao blankly for a while before sighing, Brother Lu, you think of divine weapons and heaven level skills too simply. Let me tell you this, our Dagon country has 13 states and hundreds of state capitals. That's a lot, right? But do you know how many artifacts we have in Dagon? Before Lu Dao could speak, Kong Hao said directly, less than a hundred. So, a Yong Kong mansion, in the eyes of Da Qian's senior officials, is not comparable to a divine weapon at all. This is not to say that Da Qian is cold-blooded, but a fact. What's more, you really believe that without you, Yong Kong mansion will be destroyed by the ancient barbarians. The country occupies it. Please give me some advice, brother. Lu Dao handed over, he actually didn't know anything about Dakion Kingdom or Yong Kong Mansion. Kong Hao said, Our Yong Kong Mansion has a population of tens of millions and a large number of monks. There are nearly a million Shantian and above alone. The ones who came to support this time are only the sects around Mu Feng City. Other sects further away have not come. The ancient barbarian country wanted to occupy Yong Kong Mansion, but it was just a wishful thinking. Quote, Kong Hao suddenly thought of Shan Yu. He continued, Of course, because of Shan Yu's existence, we don't know whether this person has any other plans, so what I say is a bit arbitrary. However, Shan Yu wants to occupy Yong Kong Mansion, unless he will this is only possible if more than half of the powerful men in my Yong Kong Mansion are enslaved, which is what worries me. There shouldn't be many shrines in Yong Kong Mansion. Can't we let Senior Martial God check them? Lu Dao asked. Kong Hao shook his head, Shan Yu's method of controlling people is to put a mark of slavery deep in the depths of the consciousness or the altar. If he wants to check, he must completely let go of the consciousness and the altar to the god of war. In this way, he will everything will be completely exposed in front of the god of war, including all secrets and memories. Who would want to let people see through all the memories? That's true, Lu Dao nodded in agreement. No one wants to show all their memories to others. Lu Dao asked again, Brother, since Shan Yu's purpose is to open the secret realm of Shantai, is it possible that their ancient barbarian army launched an attack to deceive others? In fact, Shan Yu wants to enter the secret realm of Shantai first. When I speculated that Shan Yu might still be alive, I had already summoned my subordinates to carefully check the situation outside the secret realm, and found nothing unusual. Even the senior martial god just searched for it and found no trace of the secret realm being opened. Kong Hao shook his head and rejected this guess. If Shan Yu could deceive the martial god and open the secret realm of the Shantai without leaving any trace, then there would be no need for him to launch an attack by the ancient barbarian army and instead expose himself. This is also a point that Kong Hao is confused about and worried about. He couldn't guess Shan Yu's specific plan. As long as it's not turned on. Lu Dao breathed a sigh of relief. If Shan Yu opened the secret realm and entered it, he would not go in. Although there are cultivation restrictions in the secret realm of the Shantai, 
Shan Yu will definitely not be able to enter it in real form, and can only enter it in the form of a clone. But Shan Yu is the perfect martial king after all, and he will definitely know the heaven level skills. With Lu Dao's current combat power, he may be slightly inadequate against Shan Yu's clone. Lu Dao asked curiously, is the reason why our Dagon is so strong because of the secret realm of Shantai? Yang Kong Prefecture alone has 10 places, and there are hundreds of other state capitals, not to mention too many, at least three or five, right? There are other sects, forces, and royal families. Calculated in this way, there are thousands of geniuses who can enter the secret realm of Shantai at one time. Once they grow up, they will at least be in the realm of the gods. This is too exaggerated, you think our work is too simple. In fact, it has only been more than 30 years since the Shantai secret realm appeared, and it has only been open three times. Among the monks who have entered the secret realm, only a dozen martial kings have appeared so far. The secret realm of Shantai can only be regarded as the icing on the cake for Dakion. Kong Hao said, It is because the effect of the Shantai secret realm is so amazing that this guy Shan Yu sneaked into me to do it. I see. Lu Dao suddenly realized, well, there is no need to think about this matter anymore. The god of war will go find him. Kong Hao said, since you also plan to enter the secret realm, then you send a message to General Wei and ask them to hurry up as much as possible. We will set off back to Yang Kong Mansion in two days. There is only one day left for you to arrange for the sect disciples. Kong Hao also acted resolutely and decisively changed the original plan. At first, he didn't even consider letting Lu Dao enter the secret realm of Shantai. With Lu Dao's qualifications and talents, there is no need to enter, and it is a waste of quotas. It is better to leave it to others. As for now, if three quotas are given to Lu Dao, his Yang Kong mansion will have three less quotas. He did not take this matter to heart, nor did he mention it to Lu Dao. However, Lu Dao took the initiative to mention it, brother, thank you for these three quotas. If you need any help in the future, just ask. Kong Hao's heart moved, and he held Lu Dao's shoulder and said, Brother, are you married? Ahem. Lu Dao coughed for a while, and the saliva of this innate realm should not be underestimated. Lu Dao replied, Not yet, but it should be soon, I have a daughter, and a fiancé. Fiancé, are you going to marry her? Kong Hao said with some regret, That's a pity, I also want to marry my daughter to you. Quote dot 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 quote. Lu Dao was speechless. No, you and I are brothers, but you want to be my father-in-law. It's too much. Lu Dao had a better understanding of Kong Hao's eccentricity. This way of doing things was too eccentric. Brother, how old is your daughter? Lu Dao asked curiously. Kong Hao glanced at Lu Dao and said, Although it is normal for cultivators like me to have three wives and four concubines, my daughter will not be a concubine. Don't even think about it. I didn't say that just now. No, I didn't mean that. Lu Dao explained, what I mean is that if you are willing, you can let your daughter join the immortal sect. Kong Hao is already 40 years old. His daughter's cultivation should not be low. If she joins the immortal sect to give him experience, she alone may be able to replace the entire immortal sect now. Of course, the key is how to let her give him experience like other people. Or let her take a martial arts oath. Like Kong Hao's daughter, she will definitely enter the Divine Platform secret realm. In the future, she will be a Divine Platform or a Martial King. The Martial Arts Oath will definitely restrict her more. As long as she takes a Martial Arts Oath, she is trustworthy. Thinking of this, Lu Dao felt that after this group of sect disciples joined the Immortal Sect, they also needed to make them take a Martial Arts Oath, otherwise he would be worried. Kong Hao glanced at Lu Dao with a thoughtful look in his eyes. He found that Lu Dao was really confident in teaching his disciples. He was even confident that he thought he could teach people to practice better than himself, who was in the late stage of the divine platform. Who gave him this confidence? My daughter is already innate perfection, and she is not interested in joining other sects. Kong Hao shook his head. With a father who is the lord of the palace, as long as he does not die in the future, he will most likely become a martial king, so he will naturally not be interested in other forces. Especially with several martial king ancestors, there is no need to join other forces. Kong Hao turned and said, This time she will also enter the divine platform secret realm, brother, you have to help me take care of her. Don't worry, 
Brother, I will keep her safe. Lu Dao promised, and at the same time, he began to think about how to persuade Kong Hao's daughter to join the immortal sect. She is already in the innate perfection now. When she leaves the secret realm, she will definitely be promoted to the master level. Then the speed of gaining experience will be ten times that of Lu Dao now. This is not the key. The key is that when she joins the immortal sect, the level of the immortal sect can be upgraded to the fourth level sect. Then the bonus to gaining experience will not be 32 times, but 64 times. This benefit is really too great for Lu Dao to be tempted. While the two were talking, they returned to Mufeng City in a blink of an eye. Welcome to Lord Kong. Welcome to young Master Lu. City Lord Shen led many strong men to welcome him. After a round of greetings, Kong Hao directly said to City Lord Shen, City Lord Shen, how many orphans are there in Mufeng City now? Young Master Lu wants to expand the sect, so he can let all these orphans join the immortal sect. Back to the master, there are more than 600 orphans due to the previous riots. I will send these children to Lu Shaoxi's immortal sect later. City Lord Shen bowed and replied. Well, you send someone to handle this. After giving instructions softly, Kong Hao looked at Mu Feng Chang. Kong Hao stood in the air with his hands behind his back, and his voice spread in all directions, saying, Dear citizens of Yang Kong Mansion, I am Kong Hao, the master of Yang Kong Mansion. Tonight, our Yang Kong Mansion and Mu Feng City encountered betrayal, and the guarding army also encountered ancient enemies. The barbarians attacked and suffered heavy losses, but, fortunately, a young hero like Lu Dao appeared in Mu Feng City. In this battle, he served the country with a song of loyalty, inspiring the patriotism of our people and reversing the situation of Mufeng City being destroyed. He also used his own efforts to in one fell swoop, hundreds of thousands of troops from the ancient barbarian kingdom were destroyed. He saved my Mufeng City and my Yongkong mansion. He avenged those citizens who died at the hands of traitors, and avenged those soldiers who died at the hands of the enemy. He is my hero. The dead are remembered in our hearts, and the heroes' names are spread throughout the world. Looking at Kong Hao's passionate speech, Lu Dao was speechless. Is this necessary? It made him suffer from embarrassment, and he couldn't help but want to dig out an immortal sect. The necessary procedures still need to be followed. Moreover, although we won this battle, a large number of citizens of Mu Feng City died. They need a force and a spiritual support. Kong Hao sent a message to Lu Dao to explain. Really? As Kong Hao finished speaking, the entire Mu Feng city erupted in deafening cheers. Lu Dao, Lu Dao, Lu Dao, the entire Mu Feng city was shouting Lu Dao's name. This scene made Lu Dao quite moved. Don't you say something? Seeing the indifferent Lu Dao, Kong Hao couldn't help but send a message to ask. Lu Dao's body was a little stiff. Before, facing the cheers of hundreds of people in Daifeng town, he could only flee. Now he was facing hundreds of thousands of people, and Lu Dao was very nervous. He had never experienced such a scene before and didn't know what to say. Seeing Lu Dao's restraint, Kong Hao sent a message to give guidance. You can say whatever you want, just give everyone a little confidence, encourage them, don't let them immerse themselves in sadness, they need you now. Excitation. If it was just motivation, then Lu Dao could barely do it, but if he wanted him to resolve everyone's grief, it would be difficult. Lu Dao has met you all. Lu Dao stood next to Kong Hao, also standing in midair. He took a deep breath and looked at the grieving citizens. Lu Dao said solemnly, If I have a choice, I don't want to use this song to serve the country tonight. I don't want to annihilate hundreds of thousands of enemy troops. I don't want all this to happen tonight. But since it happened, I, Lu Dao, accept it. I also hope that everyone can accept it and don't be immersed in grief. I hope that you can turn your grief into strength and work hard to move forward. I heard a saying once, but I don't know if it's appropriate to apply it here. Lu Dao paused and continued. That sentence is, the sky is strong, a gentleman strives to strive for self-improvement, the terrain is weak, a gentleman carries things with great virtue. Speaking of which, amid the expectations of all the people, waiting for Lu Dao to explain the meaning of this sentence, Lu Dao suddenly stopped. Brother Lu. What are you doing? Kong Hao felt a little strange and sent a message to remind Lu Dao. Lu Dao seemed to be distracted for a moment, then came back to his senses. With a smile on his face, he suddenly took a deep breath, circulated the vitality in his body, 
and said loudly, Heaven moves vigorously, and a gentleman strives for self-improvement, the terrain is weak, and a gentleman carries his wealth with kindness. Quote. Lu Dao's voice resounded throughout Mufeng City just like the previous song, the effect was also like that song, affecting everyone. The sentence just now, Tian Xingjian, sounds very inspiring to people, and people can't help but suppress the grief in their hearts, turn grief into strength, and strive to move forward. The effect is there, but not very strong. But now, when Lu Dao said these words again, for some unknown reason, there seemed to be a power falling on everyone, and the feeling of inspiration suddenly increased. Those city residents who were despairing due to grief seemed to have found the motivation to live again after hearing this. Those city residents who were already filled with grief and tears, now gradually buried their grief deep in their hearts, turned their grief into motivation, and wanted to move forward bravely. Those who had been lying flat seemed to have found new motivation and wanted to try again. Those monks who were usually relatively lazy now felt full of energy and couldn't help but go home to practice immediately. Those who were originally narrow-minded now began to reflect on themselves and their hearts. Those monks who used to scheme against others and take advantage of others felt guilty and wanted to change their past. Those who originally wanted to make some money by relying on word count also began to condemn themselves in their hearts. This is, looking at the bizarre scene in front of him, Kong Hao was confused. Not only him, but also other strong men. It was just a word, but it had such power, and it instantly inspired everyone to work hard. Their consciousness and soul are strong, so naturally they have no influence, but the people are different. Everyone was very sad one moment, but they took this sadness into their hearts the next moment, with resolute expressions on their faces and unyielding expressions on their faces. Heaven moves vigorously, and a gentleman strives to constantly strive for self-improvement. Heaven moves vigorously, and a gentleman strives to constantly strive for self-improvement. Heaven moves vigorously, and a gentleman strives to constantly strive for self-improvement. Seemingly aware of the powerful power of this sentence, the city residents shouted in unison with Lu Dao, one sentence after another. Obviously I'm wearing a fantasy world of martial arts, why did I suddenly adopt a Confucian and Taoist style? Lu Dao shouted while complaining about himself in his heart. Tian Xingjian. 1.7 billion, 10 billion, high grade yellow grade, a famous saying that can inspire people's fighting spirit, make people constantly strive for self-improvement, and make people be virtuous. When Lu Dao shouted this, he also frantically agreed to the authorization on the system. Empower everyone to learn this inspirational quote. Lu Dao found that his system was too unbelievable. He originally just wanted to inspire everyone and didn't want everyone to be immersed in sadness, but this ended up happening. This is just a sentence, but the effect is so good. He originally thought that this sentence might be a bit inappropriate. After all, it could only inspire people to work hard, but it would have no effect on resolving grief. Judging from the results, it seems to be okay. Tian Xingjian. The uniform shouts resounded through the sky and shocked people's hearts. In several large courtyards behind the county government office, there are more than 600 children, the youngest is only 3 years old, and the oldest is 15 or 16 years old. They were originally numb because of the tragic death of their family members at the hands of traitors. Now, listening to the voice, light gradually appeared in their lifeless eyes. Listening to the deafening voice, they also shouted sparsely. Gradually, more and more people shouted, and the light in their eyes became brighter and brighter. It's Brother Dao. It's Brother Lu. It's the sect leader. In the immortal sect's mansion, all the immortal sect disciples heard Lu Dao's voice at this moment. Wu Ming was also the first to shout. Others also shouted excitedly. This is their sect master, this is their pride, at such an exciting moment, how could they not shout along? It's that big brother. The little girl who was rescued by Lu Dao has never said a word or moved since she came to the immortal sect. She stands still like a piece of wood, as motionless as a pine tree. No matter how others asked her or greeted her, she ignored them. Now, suddenly hearing Lu Dao's voice, Wu Shen's eyes moved. Listening to the overwhelming shouts and the chants and shouts of the immortal sect, she gradually caught up with the rhythm. Heaven moves vigorously, and a gentleman strives to constantly strive for self-improvement. As she shouted loudly, the grief in her heart turned into tears, flowing slowly, and her lifeless eyes became more and more vivid. 
This earth-shattering chant lasted for a full quarter of an hour before gradually stopping. At this time, Liu Dao then made his final conclusion and said, I hope that in the coming days, everyone will work hard to practice and not let such a tragedy happen again. Come on, everyone, come on Mu Feng Chang. After shouting with everyone for a quarter of an hour, Liu Dao no longer felt embarrassed. Come on, thank you, Mr. Liu. Thank you, Mr. Liu. Various responding voices sounded one after another. Thank you all, Liu will take his leave first. Goodbye, Mr. Liu. Liu Dao said goodbye to everyone and flew towards the immortal sect. Kong Hao and others also flew over, looking like little followers. Kong Hao didn't care about this either. At this time, Kong Hao had too many doubts in his heart and wanted to ask Liu Dao, but now was obviously not a good time to ask. Brother Liu, Brother Dao, Metropolitan, as soon as they returned to the gate of the immortal sect, He Yuanshuang, Wu Ming, Chen and others came to greet them. A thud, the little girl who was following closely behind everyone knelt down in front of Liu Dao with a plop. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.